Mic check. Chiggity check. <clears throat> One, two. That's right. Welcome back, train wreck. I see you. What's up, fate? Rowan, Berg, Kawhi. Thanks for the resubs. No, there's no more roller coasters, Kawhi. We literally did all of the roller coasters. I couldn't walk the next day in a straight line. Reaper, welcome. Serpentine. I love it. Serpentine 645. Welcome back. Doing well. I didn't get much sleep last night. Then, uh... I just crashed, just woke back up, feel a lot better. We're diving in. It's Friday, dude. We got we to gotta do it. We got to do this thing. We got to get to A. Road to A. <clears throat> That's a good one, Michelios. Um, Let's see, who else we got? Berg, Rowan, Kawhi, Trainwreck, Reaper we got. Welcome, Reaper. Serpentine. Travesty. Thanks for the 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 bits, Brick. Doing well, dude. Or not, dude. Null effects. Thank you for the bits. You got candy corn just for this. Oh, Jesus. Stick them on your teeth. So you have a whole mouthful of like weird plaque covered vampire fangs. Um, I didn't see upgrade yet. It's on my list. God. I played Nuge. I played Grounded for about an hour with Atlas. It was awful. I'll play it on stream once there's a little bit more to it. You can get through the the narrative part of it real quick but yeah that game is uh, of the devil <laughs> road to prestige yeah <laughs> who knew who knew there were so many point and click adventures that started numerically walnut one welcome back You like the World of War and the hunting vids? Dude. Some of my favorites. Kev K, of course. Send in some of that Swedish big dick energy. We got Matt Danovic. Who I know very well. Hold on. I don't know how many Matt Danovics there are. There can't be that many. Thanks, dude. Hold on. Let me... Let me brand you. Here we go. You've been branded. <laughs> You've received the mark. Rats Clan. Oh, shit. What up, rats? <clears throat> we're gonna we're keeping on with our A to Z. Let me catch up here, but we're keeping on with A to Z. The game we're gonna be playing. Oh, it didn't even show up because the title is so jacked. Let me just try the number part of the title. Those of you who have shit, let me see if it will even take. I might have to just enter something generic.
3089. Did that take? It's not showing that it took on my end, but if you guys can see 3089, okay, that's good enough for me then. Yeah, that's the name of the game. I guess technically the name of today's game is 3089, Futuristic Action RPG. <laughs> Maybe saving, uh, I mean, if you name the, your game that, then you don't even have to enter a description at all. That's called efficiency. All right, hold on. Let me catch up. <clears throat> Blazing Air Day. We've got Ober. Um, Mavs. Welcome back. Ober now has 3D printed arms. I think he's, yeah, I don't. I mean, I think he went through a 3D printing phase, and now he's just a free-floating consciousness that inhabits 3D printed objects. So, 3D print something out, leave it on your nightstand, and maybe Nanners will drift into it one night and watch you sleep. <laughs> uh, Moochville. Uh, let's see. Moochville's resubbing. Welcome back. Yeah, I thought that would happen too, Moochville, but I think you keep your badge. <clears throat> I think it's a cumulative rank. So, I think. Um, Chupa. No problem. Welcome. Jesse Raptor. Uh, it's early morning. Yep, yep. All right, well, go do your go do your business. Jesse, you can catch up. Uh, you can catch up in a, in a little bit. I have no idea how today's gonna go. Bong, Lucifer, we've got. Let's see. Pentaki, welcome to the party. Jellyman donating. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I always stream while you're at work. Uh, Jellyman. But I'm glad. Yeah, I don't know, Moochville. Oh, what's up, Timmy? Yeah, I've been unsubbed. I've been subbed to someone for a long time, then been unsubbed for whatever reason for a long time, and then it's picked back up later when I jump back in. So, what up, Flanzy? Um, Katie, you got gifted a sub by the. I believe the king of Sweden, Kev K, who, as far as I know, just sits on his throne and on each armrest, um, he has a button. The first, the button on the left armrest of his throne is to, it launches the stream, and the button on the right armrest of his throne gifts subs. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, what, <laughs> that's what Kev K's deal is, I believe. Irish, Earl Green, Azog, Filthy. Uh, welcome back. Keep up the vids. Dude, I'm bummed. I wanted to have a vid out two days ago, but it just wasn't in the cards. But I played some uh, Minecraft for the first time with some, some pals from back in the day. I believe all their vids are up, so probably everybody knows. But whatever. I'll maintain my air of mysteriousness. <laughs> day, uh, day Waran. That's kind of a cool tag. I don't know how to say it, but what up, Day? Welcome back. Rev, Arc, Cassidy, um, Wobbly, Ace Wolf. That's right. We're just getting started. We're chill. Let's get a little here. Um, let's see. I think we'll do... I like the water. I'm leaving the water for a minute. I'll stick my mug onto the screen shortly. Um, welcome back, you guys. Fleeting Candle. And then we've got a Giggler. Uh, found me through Nerd Poker. Dude. 
I love it. I just recently, I think one of my two guest appear, recent guest appearances is up, Giggler. Um, Rifkin, thanks for the bits. Not much, just chilling. Taking a break from uh, editing. And the fam's back, so I'm happy to ha not be in an empty house. When do you get a stream with Atlas? Pigeon. I don't know. He wants to play games tomorrow. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Sometimes the internet is plutonium, and I don't want to drop a marble of that on my kid's lap. Sometimes the internet's delightful, though. I have his headphones, I believe, working. I need to get his mic working. Um... But that, that'll happen. That'll happen. It's too. I enjoy playing games with him too much to not do it at some point. So soon, Pigeon. I'll just say soon. I don't know what he would want to play now that I think about it. Uh, let's see. Wi-Fi. Welcome back. Salmon Clap donating. Is this the game where you can slow down time? And this is, yeah, yeah, you'll see. There's a whole bunch of shit in this game, and I, I'm, I haven't played it, so we're going to find out. And it's also developed by one, one guy, and I'm really actually feeling kind of cool about it. I'm positive on this one. I don't even, it's going to look a little rough, but I'm actually like, I support this game. Jellyman. Um, oh, that's when you go into work usually. Okay, got it. Uh, Bromain and Yuki, welcome. And then, of course, we've got Jack. Jack Grady, the animal lullologist. Kicking things off with some animal trivia. Rabbits are not rodents, but actually part of the Lagomorph family. Because they are a rear gut animal... A phrase I've never heard, but I will never be able to forget now that I have heard it. Because they are a rear gut animal, they need to eat their poop in order to get their vitamins. The little pellets that you see are twice digested poop. Rear gut is an incredible adjective that I'm going to use on numerous human beings. Sir Old School. Thanks for gifting subs. Welcome if you're just joining joining the party. You just got your your stripes courtesy of one of our generous community members. Let's kick this. Let's kick this off. All right, kill the music. Kill the music. Settle down. Yeet Peach. What's up, Yeet? What up, Brower? Ten of you. Just got your stripes. Got some emotes. Kev K. Throwing some candy corn we got in the chat. Pigeon. Some Sark Pals. I like to see that, you guys. Dude, the emote. The emotification of chat. Keep this view. I know, I like the water. This is a good loop. I think I looped it pretty smooth. It was not a natural loop. Hold on, let me watch. Here comes the big wave. No, nope, not yet. Wait. Wait, there's the big there's the big wave. Oh yeah, that's smooth. Can't even tell. Love it. Okay. God, that brings me such satisfaction. Uh, Sir Old School and Yeet Peach, thank you. What up, hot Swedish ass? Woo Man, welcome back. Stula Hoops, thanks for the bits. I appreciate it. Weekend is starting off good, dude. I'm starting it off with a stream. Let me launch this game because it does some real... This is the strangest... 
launch, it launches with an unable to open jar error and then a window on top of that that says, don't worry about that, keep playing. So hold on, <laughs> let me... <laughs> Uh, let me make sure everything's set. This might be delicate. And then we'll get camera on. Let's see if OBS even grabs this. There it did. Okay. I'm going to actually do a test. I'm going to I'm going to alt tab and see if this just if this just crashes everything. How sensitive. Okay. Impressive. Most impressive. Mad trippy. Welcome back. Senior Boomy, welcome. Thanks for that prime sub and Kev K dropping a gift to Pepperstein son. Oh, you're in sniper mode now, Kev K. Like sitting up in your like Swedish tower. <laughs> gift sub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree, Salmon. I agree. Pixar ain't shit. How's the levels? Is this uh, background music? Seems pretty rowdy. Levels are okay. Chickity check. Chatting. This is my volume. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the continuation of our A to Z quest through my steam library this is what's next see here it just says 3089 he must have put futuristic action rpg just in his steam title but it looks like there's a lot to this i've read through these and i'm gonna promptly forget all of them because look at how much there is some of it's real basic like use cover I think we're just gonna get in. <laughs> now keep in mind, this is just, this is a game coded by one fella. So we're just gonna start. Pick starting class, gunner, sword bot, Ninja, pilot, leader, thief, or custom. Um, guns, stamina, energy, prestige. So there's quests and all kinds of shit in this, apparently. Should we watch the trailer? Do you guys want to see the trailer first? We watched it once, but do you want to see what this game's about a bit? Or do you want to just dive in? Because I can do either. Yeah, okay. Let's do the trailer. A little primer. Hold on. That's a, that, that's a good idea, me. Hey, thanks. We watched it once, but let's not just assume that everyone saw that. Um, no, not that. Okay. Uh, let's let's turn it up. Okay. Honestly, I think the game guide he made is more impressive, but...
just a random picture tri trizzle. I just try and find cool, like, triple monitor wallpapers. This is him doing stealth. There he rolled a d20. I don't know. I'm super into seeing what this guy's cooked up. Look at this. He's got construction. Gun components. I didn't see it, Yucky Bum. Post it again. All right. That's what we're looking at. Hello, guys. Fruit here. Oh, and this God. Is a quick primer no, for stop. my game. <laughs> the first thing you'll want to do is read over the quick tips. That's fruit. That's the man. Koalas eat eucalyptus leaves, which are actually poisonous, but they aren't born immune to it, so baby koalas have to eat their mother's eucalyptus poop to build up an immunity. There we go. Coming in from the appropriately titled Yucky Bum. Pounding Tuna, thanks for the bits. Uh... Salmon clap. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. I want to see. I want to see what this guy's got. Salmon, uh, white nerd, and majestic villain. Welcome to the party. An Afro doc. Do, Afro, why did I turn into like a valley girl? An Afro doc and Curacao. Like, welcome back or whatever. Halo Infinite. Oh God. Is that a dig, Jelly Man? <laughs> People were so bummed on Halo Infinite. Looked a little rough. Could be fun, though. Blessing, thanks for the bits. All right, we're going in. <clears throat> Your buddies that work at State Farm have a file for someone and every time they open it, it plays a Minecraft tutorial. It crashed the server and now it's stuck like that. It can never be fixed. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jellyman, we'll see. I saw some infinite level textures in here. Hugo! Holy shit, coming in here like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> what up, Hugo? Thanks, dude. We had a fun, we had a fun raid on Hugo the other, uh, the other day. 
And Delta Mike. Thanks for gifting a sub to Kangamoo. All right, here we go. Start new game. I'm going to pick because I always pick the thing that makes the least sense initially. We're going to start things off as a leader. It makes total sense to be a gunner, a sword bot, ninja. Ooh, maybe a pilot. I like pilot better. We're going to be a pilot. Uh, player name. Let's see. It will be... Your heart. Surveyor 502 approaching planet Zax. Android Earheart ready for evaluation in common combat support and intel scenarios. Android Earheart includes experimental emotion and time ripping code found historically on Zax. Monitor closely for any unexpected behavior. Press escape to be okay. Overlord message. Welcome to Zax, your heart. Please review our quick tips and game guide before adventuring by pressing escape. It's more suggestion, really, from the Overlord. Your directive, complete complex quests for us to evaluate your performance. You have been dropped in a friendly red area. Use... Use the Q key regularly for us to point you in the right direction and head to the waypoint to buy your first weapon. Okay. Oh, my sensitivity. Okay, what? Jesus. Let's start at 60. Uh, what, what? Trying channel 43, can you read this? You're, you're more than just another design for the Overlord to tinker with. Your code combined with ours, bigger. Is someone masturbating on the radio? Back up this code quickly. We built backup stations the Overlord doesn't know about. This is important. Hover over buildings on the map to locate backup and questing stations, okay? Hold on. We're dropping this down. We're going to 52. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Dude, why am I so, why am I like four feet tall? No, I, I got you, Jelly. I was just reading, literally just reading about Halo Infinite. Uh, ooh, we got hops, though. Is there fall damage? Oh, there's, like, low grab. Look at that. I can just, like, ramp. Okay. Go 500 just to see what it's like. I mean, okay. Turn my mouse up. All right, I'm just gonna slowly move my hand across my mouse pad. I think that's manageable. I mean, you can see my heart beating in my like my thumb on this.
Good enough. Good enough. Um, okay, map. Oh, dude, that's pretty sick. Hover over buildings. Oh, there we go. Energy charger, specials, armor. I see. Okay. All right. Far Cry Tears. Another name I'm learning to recognize. Thanks for gifting subs. Ten. Welcome, Soundflare, Master Lurk, Inferno, Sawoop, Exporter, Seriously, Bobby, Camp, Eva, and Toby. Fearsome Beaver. Uh, welcome back, Trizzle. That's right, you've advanced past private, Trivel. Trivel? Whatever. Trizzle. <laughs> Letters. Reading. So boring. Um, Krabby Patty, Luckless Luke, Peg Junk, Sean, Temry. Welcome back. Jack Grady, part one. Because herbivores can't break down cellulose by themselves. Uh, well, unless they have a gym membership. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They have a chamber in their gut that has bacteria that can do it. This fermentation gut can be either can either be before the stomach, the foregut, uh, before the stomach, foregut fermenters, or after, hindgut fermenters. Got it. Okay, okay. Chamber in the gut breaks down cellulose, and it either precedes or is after. Hmm. Uh, this game, Data Drainer, is 3,089 futuristic action RPG. RPG. Jellyman, thanks for the donation. Gamma, Straddle, Bacon Lord, Marvel, uh, let's see, Marveler and Meester. How many games till the letter A? One, two, three. Four, counting this one. Marveler. Duck screw. Duck screw. Oh, ducks also have corkscrew a giant. What the fuck is. Why am I having a stroke? It's because I'm reading like 17 things at once. Ducks also have a have corkscrew vaginas with dead ends in some kind of sexual evolutionary war. Duck penises grow in size based on the number of males in competition and fall off after use. See that? Big one. Welcome, dude. I mean, what a time to sub. Here's an 18th thing to read. Thanks, Nada. Dude, it's nighttime. All right, we got to go. Let's go. Let me hit Q. Find and activate a closer backup station. Find armor. Let's, let me see if I can talk to one of these guys, actually. just David Hall requires 2.7 prestige to follow. Oh, we can get them to... Oh, so the leader could talk to them and they could follow him. Okay, so let's look. We need... Hold on, zoom back in. Backup station, armor via crates or purchasing, and buy a weapon. Okay. Chips, specials, armor down there. Armor down there. Backup. Click to set waypoint. Okay. I don't see my waypoint, but whatever. Oh, it's on my compass. Got it. Okay, let's go. 
Part two, Jack coming in. The difference between fore and hindgut fermenters is significant as many hindgut animals have to re-eat their poop because they aren't able to absorb the nutrients in their colon. Fore guts don't have this problem because it's before the stomach. Uh, what happened to No Man Left Behind? You're making it out of horror. Looking forward to... S <laughs> Big Juan. What's up, dude? Dude, you're just making it out of Horror Alley? What's up, Warlock? Dude, that's a ramp. Look at that. That'll get rid of your cellulose. You don't need to eat your own shit for this. Horrendous. Welcome back, Dr. Darkheart. Uh, this is 3089. A action RPG. A one man. Let's see what. Cannot interact with a turret. Okay. Oh, this isn't even my... Alright, we're about to find out if there's fall damage. No, okay. <laughs> Truly breathtaking. Sark, if God came down from heaven and told you not all people are created equal and you get to choose, who who would you pick? I don't understand the question. Salmon. Okay, weapons. Chips. Okay. Let me look real quick. What was downstairs? Backup. Uh, how many credits do I have? Sure. Oh. Camera? Oh, my camera? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. Thanks, Joanna and Co. Um, hold on, let me make sure we got this all. There once was a chimpanzee who was brought to live with humans to learn to communicate. She failed at doing this, ended up drinking alcohol and jerking off to Playboy. They tried to re-socialize her. She wasn't very happy as she thought herself as more of a human. Well, there we go. That's your answer, Salmon. I would choose the chimpanzees. Haven't checked out Pavlov yet, Carpe. Oh, I have 1,400 credits left. Okay, so let's buy a... Uh... Launcher? Pistol? What's this one? Energy launcher. That's too much. I don't even know if this is... Oh, this is just the body part. That's cheap as hell, though. Level 1 energy rifle? We got a barrel. Let's do that. Oh, we should get a knife. And a sword. Do 
you plan on playing Gmod with Vanos and the crew? Yeah, we'll see. R6. Uh, oh, it's from... That's a... That's a quote of mine. Yeah, I... There's no way I'm going to remember that. I never watch my videos. <laughs> What's up, Chris Tuckard? Welcome back. Kristen, welcome. Special motion. This game is 3,089. It's... I'm just playing my Steam library A to Z. Uh, and this was what was next. So we're checking it out. Pervert Monster. Dude, I was going to say Pervert Monster. By the way, thank you for gifting subs as usual. But also, thank you for your generosity during our raids. I see that shit, dude. Or not, dude. And I appreciate it. You a boss. Um, all right, so we've got this. Fuck it, I'm. I'm rich. Let's buy a pistol. Some pistol components. Oh, we might not be able to afford the whole sh. Mm. <laughs> okay, there. I spent all my money on guns. Now, can I do this? I saw in the. Uh, Oh, I need a workstation, okay. S chips are stat boosts, it looks like. Um, quest station. And some more complete armor, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, fun fact, I stole that, some of that bit from my buddy Brian Posehn. He has a funny bit about that salmon. All right, we backed up. Here's a workstation. Okay, so now I can do this. Shit. Meteor shower? Hold on, we gotta see this. Seek shelter, but I gotta see it. All right, I'll go when I hear something. Level one rifle barrel. I hear something. Let's go. Ah! Okay. Okay. <laughs> that, landed... <laughs> that landed like right next to me. Whoa, that was a big one. Well, we'll just work on our crafts, our arts and crafts. It's the body. That's the barrel. Then we have a pistol with a barrel and a body part. Ooh, those fit. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're going to need more more shit. Oh, blue is not good. If I we're red, we're team red. And how do I Yeah, 
it's not done yet. Okay. All right. We're 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 team melee here for a bit. We need armor from crates and a quest station. Let's go get a let's go get a gig. Looking for a quest station. Quests. Okay. Set our waypoint. There's shit going down out here. <laughs> Dude. Dude, our team sucks. What's this? Three seconds of time ripping. Let's try it. Yes. Okay. All right, we got bullet time. Have you ever had your shit pushed in? What's up, man? Panties, welcome back. Jack Grady. Uh, human raised chimps are able to com uh, communicate with humans via sign language and even create new words for new objects. However, they aren't able to create abstract questions and conversations such as, why is the sky blue? That's where we're heading. I'm gonna come grab this time rip and see if I can break this. No? Okay. Let's grab this too. Later, Joanna, have a good night. Cyberpunk early, <laughs> right? Um, the Rup. Just in case I didn't. Welcome back. Thanks for the resub. All right, let's see what we've got. This may this may be a game. We'll see how far. If this game's super long, then this may be one that we don't need to finish, but uh, yes, fine. But I just want, this is next, and I want to, uh, you know, we got to sample it. Dude, I want to hit that, but. Armor, I don't think I have money enough for armor. Because I bought a bunch of gun pieces that don't fit together. Quests. Quest 1 of 13, Robot Destruction. Kill the leader, Austin. Leader now dead. Kill Brandon. Okay. Key for task requirements. Target cannot be killed. Okay, well that's confusing. Target cannot attack or detect you. No additional killing. Alright, this part I don't understand, but... Oh, yeah, I'll just next whenever, uh, whenever, Commander. I just play it by ear. So far, this is, uh, fine. Um, follow the yellow marker. Oh, that's over here. Okay. All right, so that's on my compass. All right, let's go see. What's up, potato? 
Uh, part two of uh, chimps looks like they begin to identify more as a person than a chimp, and they are able to look at Playboy and go, he's my boyfriend. Usually the thing that ends the experiment is when they hit puberty, as they have little self-control and are very violent. Sounds pretty human. Okay, so this is our guy. How the hell am I supposed to do that? <laughs> I'm trying to see. I saw him lunge. Oh, here we go. Holy shit, the lunge. Okay. Am I needing to recharge? Charge. Hmm. Now it's not doing it. Let me see if I can get on this roof. Eee. Dude, I wish my rifle parts worked. Go, charge! Oh, he sees me. <laughs> Running. Okay. Come on, you dick! The fuck? Floyd! Cobalt, welcome back. Milkman, welcome. Dude, we're trying to figure out... Uh, I got an early build of Cyberpunk. Just getting, you know... Getting our eyes on it. Right, chat? It's, it's so far, it's insane. A locked hatch. Okay. Dude, how the fuck am I supposed to shoot an airplane down with my sword? And how do I get lunge to work again? Fire charges melee weapons for a stronger swing. Yeah, but how do I charge it? Lunge attacks done with charged melee weapons. I wonder if I used my... Hold on, I'm right, I'm right mousing here.
I might have to go out and just get some money so I can finish my guns. Oh, wait. Cobalt. Uh, I think I got you, but if I didn't, welcome back, dude. Come on, it's our first quest. Let's go find something on the ground, chop it up. Take its livelihood. And then come back and buy shit. I'm also at 25% health, so I gotta be careful. Why is that guy carrying... Oh, he's got a laser. Looked like he was carrying, like, a cork. Okay, bunch of... Bunch of Team Red. Wait, what is this? Why is there an explosive crate? <laughs> yeah, the question is how do I charge it, Private? I uh, charged it once. Is that it? Or did you teleport? Come back here. There we go. A level one helmet. No? Oh. Oh shit. Okay, so I think I need to have it locked on to charge. That time it it charged up. So I can't charge it, I don't think, unless I'm locked on. What's up, Sark is life? You going to dinner? Still it was not this guy that I'm supposed to kill was barely low enough to even lock on. So I don't know if sword is a is a Incredible plan here. Oh, and that looks like it canceled our quest. Come on, I want a piece. I want a piece. Good job, boys. I might be able to sell the parts back. Yeah, get some, get some change. Oh, sell the gun parts back. Um. Yeah, I still need to get a ranged weapon somehow. I could go buy armor and just. Yes, you did detect me. This is not good. Change of plans. <laughs> Look at all this junk accum <laughs> accumulating in the corners. <laughs> I don't want to go down there. That doesn't look like I could climb out. No! Oh, good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I want a gun. I want a gun. Oh, health is brown. That means I'm corroding. I remember reading that. All right. Well, hopefully that doesn't last too long. 
No, we're back. Is there anybody else here that sold... Let's try this building. Sold weapons. Maybe I can get something that matches. This guy likes his uh, trance, doesn't he? You almost got... Oh, you did get me. Ow. Chips. Weapons and armor. All right, let's see. Do you have anything... Yes, take this shit back. Can I buy a full gun here? Complete. Purchase price 470. Okay. Level 1 decoy. I got some armor. Bits. Dude, take my pistol too. There we go. Now I can buy energy pistol. Okay, that's all I can get. All right, we got a gun. Ammo. Oh god, do I not have enough money for it? Ammo producer. Sure. Okay. Let's go shoot something. Oh god, okay. No ADS. Oh, we also need to Do we I got it. We got to get a quest done. I think dying canceled our quest. So we're going to go get a quest. Hopefully it's the same one and I can just blast this guy. Um anonymous, thank you for gifting a sub to Sarka's life. Paste him gifting a sub to Scrasm. Uh, Jack Grady, the crown of thorn sea star is the largest of the starfish family. With some being over a foot in diameter, they feed exclusively on coral by climbing on top of it and vomiting their guts on it. Some corals rely on the shrimp living in them to defend them. Dude. Nature is fucked, but nature in the ocean is double fucked. Okay. Escorts. Oh, God, an escort quest? Can I... It's quest one. Let's try it. Is the, is, our, is, the, is our escort quest already just getting, like, gang-banged outside the city walls? Crown of Thorns are highly toxic. Warning, radioactive area that I just jumped into with no protection. I, I'm on a... I don't... Okay. Talk to this. <laughs> Get on. Eh. Dude, this action music. Let's go. Pick up the pick up the debris. All right. Let's talk to this. Oh, wow. The, I need to level up guns. I'm, why did I pick pilot? Okay. 
You looked into getting a cuttlefish? Far Cry? Alright, hold up. Do I still have my gun? Good. Alright, so there we see I clearly need to improve my gun skill for my gun to shoot straight. going back here we're gonna well, I'm gonna do a quest I've never kept a fish what's up Colfax I see you first one in chat every time Colfax This game's got a cool vibe to it, though. I like it. Nice seeing something that even looks a little rough around the edges. Um, but isn't like a hasty asset flip. First spy on Bella for 29 seconds. Don't kill. Oh, I see. These are the key. Okay, okay. It gives you the codes. I'm putting it together. Don't kill. Can't detect me. Then, intel collected, kill a gang of four robots. Dude. Easy. What's up, Bondoogle? Uh, I accept. All right, so we're gonna have to do some stealthing. Yeah, I see you. I see you right there. Target acquired. Okay, all right. What up, Frost? <laughs> you knew it was A, you know it's A to Z as soon as you look at it. where we need the Pink Panther theme to play. Yeah, I need to use Time Rip. That's right, Data. Good, good, good suggestion. I disabled stealth. Okay, now I'm stealth. No, don't see me. Oh, 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 okay. Intel collected. Kill a gang of four robots. Jesus. All right, we're going to rip time. Dude. I think I was just close enough, and that was like an eavesdropping... Uh, Splinter Cell mission? Alright, so now... Oh, that's our gang. <laughs> I thought that would count. Basically, I spied on that robot, then murdered it. And now we're moving right along. Okay. <laughs> I know all your secrets. Time to die. What up, Garrus? All right, now we need more of this. Some more of this. <laughs> Dude. I do not... OCD, I have no idea what I'm doing in Minecraft. Vagitarius, what is up? Is this guy helping me? 
Thanks for gifting five subs. My second favorite vag. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Oh, let's go. I'm out of I'm out of juice. No! No! Oh, part lost. Shit. All right. So this time, four shots <laughs> after APLs. That's right. All right. Four shots while time locked will kill a blue robot. All right, we're going back for quests. Shit. And I did so well at spying and murdering. Oh, am I missing my... Oh, no, I've got... I don't know what that's doing yet, but... I think I would have been missing it, but I found another one. Uh, Senior Boomy, thanks for gifting the sub to Farika. Welcome. This strikes me as uh, a game with a rather steep initial learning curve that has so many mechanics uh, in it that will, would probably be super satisfying once you've climbed that initial, uh, that initial hill. Is that a plane for me, a pilot, to fly? Oh, God. Okay. Oh I don't have a quest. <laughs> All right. There's, qu there's quests here. I can just... I can't get out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, eject! Oh! Uh. Dude! That's that's a mount! Okay, so I just jump to bail out of the ride. Okay, got it. Let's go get this time. Dude, we gotta we got we have flight. Proistic, what's up? Oh, you're going in on the next emblem, dude. You don't. Ha you don't have to do that, pro. You don't gotta do that. Hope shit's good, man. Thanks for the donation. <laughs> Trying to get different colored anuses by your chat name. Plant a bug. Holy shit! This is even harder. Plant a bug on Julia. All right. So, I think I'm going to have to get very close. Maybe... Okay, she's in the same area. And she can't detect me. I don't know if I'm supposed to interact. Let's go. While well, she's done. Okay, got it. A quick, a, a quick E push. Holy shit! Oh, you're just dropping it like a nuke, pro. <laughs> I thought you were, I thought you were gonna like lightly pepper me. Holy shit. I know I don't... Dude, thank you, pro. It's not... That's not necessary, but... I appreciate it. So I'm curious. And that do it. Another familiar name to chat. 
gifting a grip of emotes to chat. Check, see if you're one of uh, you're one of that do its gifts here. He's dropping twenty. Is G four Han? Oh, we'll talk about that. I think I talked about it a little mojo, but Drager Ray, thanks for resubbing. Glad you dig the emotes. I don't want a lot of emotes of my face, but I thought like Sark Hush would would work. Dude, thanks, pro. Um, and thanks that do it. Got some new Sark pals. Yeah, G4. Um, I don't have anything. I, I haven't heard if it's on TV or... I'm sure it won't be, right? It's got to be on the web. But I think... Um, the pal uh, Blair Herder, the... The post Adam Sessler host on X Play is Q being it, I think. Maybe something he's involved somehow behind the scenes. I believe I don't think he'll be hosting, but maybe I don't know. Yeah. No, I have no idea. Uh, what shape? new G4 will take. Because old G4 was a colossal disaster. I could go get my jet. There's a blue jet. Can I commandeer a blue jet? Oh, God. Can I shoot? I can't shoot. Can I grab power-ups? Okay. Let's get a new jet. <laughs> Let's get a new quest. I mean, nice, nice. Pilot, the pilot. They said <sighs> vehicle control lost. What a generous way of describing what just happened. Me smashing into the ground for half a second, half an extra second of bullet time. <laughs> That's like crashing your plane into the ground because you saw a dollar on the sidewalk. Like, ooh, money. I wonder. I wonder if I could just... All right, max time rip reached. There we go. Next, next, quest one. First, get the D cube by bomb disarming. Once you have the D cube, kill four robots, then get, okay. Oh no. Bomb disarming. But did I get a dollar? I didn't get shit. Or did I? Maybe I did. Maybe I got my extra. All right. Defuse the bomb. Th that looks like it's moving. Is this bomb moving? Okay, I need to remember that this... Okay, that's a plane that I could use. This, this, I already am dreading a bomb defusal. Ooh, health! Okay, alright. 75x. Press up. Oh, oh, God. Okay, well, that was. Up was W, so. Just zoom in. Um, 
I mean. I'm pretty sure the map is real time, but I'm not sure. I instinctively, you're going to say mouse wheel, but mouse wheel isn't zoom. I'm just spamming keys here. Him. Um, I don't see a zoom uh, control. Dr. Doom! Oh, I saw that in chat before it even popped up. Oh, and Trainwreck. I missed a couple here. Trainwreck, thanks for gifting a sub. To Zet, I believe. OMG. That's probably me mangling that, but J Pizzle, resubbing. Thank you. Dr. Doom, dropping five gifts. Darth Death, War Ren, Jaith, Doc Madness. Doctor to Doctor right there. And Tadpoles, Tadpoles Gamers. Dude, thanks, Dr. Doom. Okay, let's get the item. Interplanetary peace may be at jeopardy with the recent increase in cyber attacks from Zack. Schedule a reconnaissance mission to evaluate this threat. Okay. Okay, so now we gotta go. Now we gotta go kill. Item safe. Kill a gang of four robots. Okay. There on that. All right, I got a hundred health this time though. I got max bullet time. What up, Josh? Last Rapture, dude. A lot of you guys are watching streams at work. How do you do that? Here we go. Hold on, saving my time ripping. Okay. Wrecking, wrecking. Oh, this pistol. Am I out of ammo? No, okay. Let's watch. There we go. Phase two. Now that we're not done yet, I don't think. Listen to the music. He's got he's got music kicking in. All right. Um. We gotta go find Brooke. Okay. All right. Quest success coming in. Here's Brooke. Looking exquisite today, Brooke. Excellent. Our records indicate... There's also no save. I remember reading it's just a checkpoint. It's saving in the background. Our records indicate you were successful with your first complex mission. Skill points have been unlocked in your system as a reward. When you feel powerful enough, we have a special challenge for you. Find the red X waypoint when ready. Um, skills. Invalid stealing target? Find more armor. Press P. Okay, okay. P. Let me get into cover, just in case, yes, something like that is happening. Okay, pressing P for skills. You have a cousin that watches Netflix 90% of her workday. I mean, I guess I kind of get it. I had a job in a... An industrial gig at a pneumatic line production factory. 
And my job was to grind the plastic hose back into, uh, or just grind grind it down so that it could be put back into the ex extruders. So I had my arm and shoulder down a grinder for nine hours a day. And I just had, up, I turned a barrel, a big like 50 gallon drum upended it. And then I just had a notebook and I just made up magic decks all day long. So I guess I kind of, it just depends on the gig. I couldn't have heard shit though. All day long, all I heard was my heartbeat because I had like layers of ear protection because my head was like right next to this machine. Covenient. Thanks uh, for resubbing, dude. You can catch it. Catch the VOD, dude. Uh, thanks for hanging out for a bit. Hockey Cliff and Last Rapture. Thank you. And then Jack Grady. There's a frog called the Paradoxical Frog. That's That would be a great handle, by the way. Uh, its tadpoles can be 11 inches long, largest in the world, but their adult form is about 3 inches. Oh, that is weird. That is a paradox. Um... Pilot. I've got mad piloting skills, so we're we're beefing our guns up here. Skill points available. Oh, this was probably not helping my sword action either. Prestige. What up, sweets? Slows detection when being stealthy. Okay. Increases maximum energy capacity. I'm okay on that. And damage. Let's do... Three points into guns, two into defense. Um, did that take? Okay. I want to do some test shots, but I'm afraid I might be running out of ammo. Item can only be split at workstations. Okay. I'm going to try a test. Yeah, that says I have... Oh, it is charging. Okay. Okay, my ammo down below just recharged on its own. Okay, let's go get another quest. Dude, I like that he went with a real chill vibe. I wonder if that's because I'm in town. The next JP gifting subs out of nowhere after subscribing. Well, welcome. That's quite an entrance, JP. That's quite an entrance you're making here. I guess welcome and welcome to the squad uh, that JP just ushered in. Duffman, welcome back. And Nola Fex. I've learned my body can handle about a fourth of a pound of candy corn before shutting down. <laughs> That's disgusting. I've never done that before. Hold on, we gotta try this. Look at the spread on that. You really gotta wait for it to... A dagger. Oh, I gotta start nuking every crate. One candy corn per year. That's right, Shiggy. I remember uh, eating a bag of, not a theater bag, like the bag you buy to give, like to fill a bowl of M&Ms. I remember eating a whole bag of th those and I f thought I was gonna die. 
I thought it was going to come out of my mouth like a giant turd. Mooch. Um, it's a little bit... Uh, <laughs> it's This game is a little obscure in, initially. Not terrible, but it takes... Uh, you just have to get used to some of the stuff. Um, but so far, it seems cool. Impressive. Uh, for... Like a solo project. First, get the disc with that item. Give the disc to Brandon. Okay, let's accept that one. That seems super easy. Also, how are we doing on cash? Oh, that's why my... Okay. Hold on. Um... Let's go over there. And we'll do this quest. In route. First get the disc. Oh, I gotta be super sneaky. Oh, is this? So R is... I wonder if I'm gonna have to interact with E or hit R on this subject. Or is it just sitting here? Okay. Okay. If we can gain control of a handful of robots on the surface, we may be able to build something. We should get started on a set of construction tools. One of those, on a set of construction tools that one of those robots can use. Um. And then just drop this off. Dude, why couldn't this have been my first quest? <laughs> oh, in Australia, you don't have candy corn, pro? Actually, you do. You just don't know it. Just go to the store, pro. Buy a candle and eat the candle. Candy corn is wickless, tiny wickless candles. <laughs> uh, Fiji Drip, Cole Singh, welcome. Uh, an internet tab, gifting a sub to Arctic Snail. Thanks, Tab, and welcome, Arctic. Um, look at this little gathering. This guy's yoked. I love how the legs have been <laughs> put together. <laughs> That's a cool solution to not having to animate legs. Later, long schlong. Yeah, don't buy a scented candle. It would ha <laughs> that would be too tasty. Um, hold on, we're gonna keep chip chipping away at these. Ooh, look at that. That's like the the, the drop ship that brought me in here. He went with a real orbital vibe on his soundtrack here. Like late 90s orbital. I don't mind. Hold on, let's go blow up this quest. Or blow up this crate, then do the quest. 
That hurt me. Okay. I once ate a pencil eraser. I used to eat my pencil erasers. I used to eat my whole pencil, except for the graphite. I just, I don't know why. I think it was trying to not eat my fingernails. Okay, that was safe distance. is over there. Quest. First kill Michaela. I like how this is, it's like he named all the robots after people at his school. Later, BG. First kill Michaela. Then protect Sadie for a minute and two seconds. Okay, that sounds awful. I accept. Let's go get health first. Can I get out this window? No. Don't need a plane yet. <laughs> Michaela wouldn't take the dev to the dance, but Sadie did. What's up, Acorex? Dude, thanks for the donation, man. I appreciate it. And Kev K sniping a gift sub to Carpe DMT. Okay, leg complete leggings for two hundred and forty three bucks. Find a workstation and just see if maybe this helmet can be. Must be upstairs. That bitch, Michaela. I'll show her. Her infamy will live on in 3089. Here it is. Jesus. Okay. So will this? Okay. All right. We got a helmet. All right, then I'll go, then I'll buy, I'll buy one of these. Stamina, defense, energy. Dude, this is some complex. Defense, energy, programming, melee. Stealth. Like this one. Okay. All right, we're 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 beefing up. Let's go see this B 
bitch who won't take us to the dance. Ghost, thanks for resubbing. Okay. Way out there in the ocean. Underneath that jet. Oh, right there. Fun fish fact. The Dorado is a fish that looks like a gold-plated salmon, but shares no genetic link. It actually evolved from the Tetra family, but adapted to a similar environment, filling that same niche. There you go. We got a salmon in chat, too. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go bring the judgment. Let's go bring the wrath to Michaela. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, kill Michaela. Yep, then we gotta protect Sadie. I feel. Meteor shower! Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I have an idea for the meteor. Since we're at the beginning of this quest, I'm not going to start it here. Eh. Ah! Ooh, what's this? <laughs> Shit! Well, oh, I lost a part on that death. But I did I gain my I got a me <laughs> one meteor charge. I don't know what that does. It just says goes boom. It's a part. Okay, all right. Well, dude. I lasted five seconds. What is that? What is this shadow? Oh, it's the sun and the trees. Okay. Accurate shadows. Speaking of simps, did I just read that... Pokey has a boyfriend? Like, what the fuck? Like... I know... I know offline I'm married, okay? But online... <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? <sighs> Online any hole is a goal. I don't, I mean I read some fucking nonsense Dexerto article about it. I can't stop reading their ridiculous Shit. Does the miss it? No! I keep my offline and my online. <laughs> That's not true at all. Bottom floor. Um. Okay, let's do this again. This again. I kind of want to go... I mean, I guess we should beef up. This is the starting area of this game. If I run through here 
and I'm not on some like piece of cake quest, we're gonna get the jet and just go fly. Cause I kind of want to explore a bit. What up, Thick? How did I find this game? I wish I remembered how I found any of this shit. This game's not actually sucking as bad as, uh... Some of the other games we've tried. Okay, disarm the bomb. I'm kind of in a bit of a, like... I want to... My next sort of goal here is to finish this initial batch of quests and see what it tells me to do. Um, disarm, kill the robots. Okay. I have no idea, Fick. How did I find that? Not as shit. Yeah, put that on the poster. No, the, actually, I this game is not shit. So far, anyway. It's just an ambitious one-man title. I think that's why... I don't know how I saw it, but I think that's why I picked it up. Because I was like... Oh, one dude put this thing together. Okay, stand clear. There's mid midtown destruction happening. Just my gun skill is so bad. That hurt me. Okay. It's constantly saving too. Otherwise I would just like run up on someone and just execute them. Have I played Dusk? Speef, I have not. It's on the list, though. Um, I loved Civvy's video on Dusk. I love all of Civvy's videos, actually. Oh, maybe I shouldn't blow that up. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. There we go. Interplanetary peace may be at jeopardy with the recent increase in cyber tax from Zach. Schedule a reconnaissance to value it. You got it. Kill a gang of three robots. Inbound. I keep hitting R to reload. Get a gun chunk. Let's go help our buddy out. Oh god. Out of bullets. There we go. Three down. Our efficiency at killing is improving. Now we give the D cube to Piper. <laughs> that electric guitar riff. Dwayne, Dwayne. Chaz, thanks for resubbing. Shorty gang, welcome back. For two and three months. Ooh, why are you down there? What is that? Ugh, I didn't. I do not like it. Pedro, 
Thanks for resubbing. Hopefully I don't have an oxygen meter because I'm a goddamn robot. Kev K. Bringing that hype. Dude, thick. He's a beast. Um, is that not paused? That's not paused. Okay. Makes sense. That's, that's on me. Is this paused? That must be paused. Okay. Hold on, Kev K. Let's, let's welcome your... Ooh, look at that, the ocean level. All right, I appreciate the ocean level rises and falls. Little details. Not a lot of little details on that <laughs> metal beam, but you know. Can't have everything. Punk, David, DK, Parsley, and Cobble, welcome. And uh, Hero Shemax. I like that one too. What was that? Was that lightning? Oh god. I'm getting inside. Mother Nature in this game so far hates me. Let's pump up our skills. And see if we have a operational gun here. We're going more in the guns. Five more in guns. Let's do... Let's get a little stealth, just so we're on the board. Prestige. Who cares? Let's get a little stealth, or stealing, just so we're on the board here. And then, uh... What's agility say? Max burden for run and jump. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. That's good. That's good. Um... <laughs> Shaving Seagull. Dude. I'll keep on uh, posting all my vi Vimeo masterpieces. Specials. A hoverboard. A complete hoverboard. I don't need that, but I want it. Pistol. Incomplete chip. Dagger. Dagger. Okay, hold on. Alright, so now we have a dagger. We have two rifle bodies. Can I come... No. Oh, oh, this looks like it would fit there. Wait, before I combine it, let's see. Defense and melee. Guns. Find a chip workstation to combine to combine chips. Okay. And what? That's another helmet piece. Okay. So we need. Let's go over there. See what we got. And we're decent on health. I don't. Does it cost the same, or do I just pay for what I get? Okay, so we can just while we're here, we can just. All right, we're getting a little workflow down here. Enough games, Alabaster. Oh, I missed your question, Alabaster. How many games are in this? Oh, twelve hundred, a uh, uh, give or take. like 20 years of detritus it's a mix of games that I've bought for myself games that I've bought because I had to do something for work like record a bit um, games that have been part of bundles um, games that I think somebody broke into my house and purchased for me it's a little it's a little bit of everything <laughs> meteor shower son of a bitch okay <laughs> the 
the the steam the weird steam ninja would repel through the ceiling of my house okay is this a complete chip now can i install it oh i can't let's equip a dagger because why not Look at that, now the OCD begins. Ooh, okay, hold on. It's a launcher, I don't have a launcher body, okay. You hope the Steam Ninja bought me 999. I don't know what game that is, Shiggy. <laughs> Did I leave my Steam account? I mean, my Steam account has been left logged in many times. See, at G4, just for example, um,. All the recording was done in a cap station, or like it's essentially like an office with um, like eight PCs or console PC console stations with a bunch of like input switching stuff. Looked like a server room. And then they had like really a couple like really unique devices for recording Nintendo stuff and portables so that your like your DS would suddenly look like Johnny Mnemonic's like helmet or whatever but I would either I'd be in there recording shit or I'd have to leave and someone would help me your account's just on so God only knows what kind of shit we're gonna find in here. I don't think people were buying games on my account. I'm just kidding around, but I've just bought some weird shit over the years. And I wasn't always working in gaming, so sometimes I would just see something interesting and like 20 years ago me or whatever would be like, hmm. That would be fun to play alone at night by myself in my underwear. Celtic, thanks for the bits. Let me mark this. Oh, that point and click adventure sounds really promising. Huh. What kind of flavor do you prefer your noodles with? You mean like cup noodles or ramen notorious because I got to go with you I got to go with beef also it's got to be like piping hot I like I like that shit like nuclear temperature We will see Inbox 2.0 before we hit A. <laughs> that, Hobbits, I don't think. <laughs> We're just a few games off of A. Dude, what if I hit this crate? Watch this. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. Let's find another one. Dude, phase up, man. What's the sign? I'm afraid I'm going to actually do something... Obscene. Somebody, a deaf person will be watching and be like, oh, What the fuck? <laughs> Full triple A titles. <laughs> They're in there. They're sprinkled in there like little jewels, Frost. 
like peeking out the side of the mine. This is not the building I need. <laughs> like, I want to sling a shot out at that crate, but my... Oh, here we go. I have great odds. Oh, he... Ah! Oh. Ooh, that was... Wait, wait, what is this? Oh, it's... Why is the gun, like, hitting mid-air? Well, that time it didn't even fire. Oh, while I'm sprinting, I can't shoot. Got it. this energy rifle component <laughs> real jabronis call coffee cough <laughs> Kill the leader, Jeremiah, with Jeremiah dead, escort Jasmine to s to specific area, then give the cube to Jasmine. All right, we're like... Oh, I need to accept. There we go. All right. Let's finish these. I keep getting distracted. Let's finish these quests. What up, Hamlets? Uh... Celtic, thank you for the bits as well as the gifted sub to Preactor. Maybe Preactor. And Hat Trick Patrick. No. Oh dear. Oh, you dick. You colossal dick. Ravi gun. Oh, here's the music. Okay. No. Dude, these guns. All right, let's just stay on task. <laughs> I got to pump more points into guns. All right, get the object. Virus signatures detected originating from planet Zax, placing this planet on the watch list. Whoa, okay. Now we got to kill Jeremiah. Yep, okay. What is this? Is this something I can do? To immediately distracted. A, gra a gravy gun. Ooh. Yes. Yes, please, hat trick. Uh, Davios, thanks for the donation. Hope all is well. Missed the radio respawn vids. Uh, been watching them back again. Could you give us your favorite movies and games? I'd appreciate it. Oh, and also Wingman Welcome and Trainwreck gifting a sub to Testicle Torsion because I hate saying their name. It makes my balls hurt. But welcome anyway, Twisted Nuts. Why did why why did my quest target just plummet? Oh, I've like test 
testicular torsion is like a nightmare of mine. Oh, I hope that's not a fall through the map situation. No, okay. Dude, there's Jeremiah, that shit. That piece of shit. Do I have enough? Um, I want a little more time, time freeze arena. Oof. Okay, let's just go kill Jeremiah. Um, DSP, thanks for the sub. Um, Davios, let me think. Um, my favorite movies. Like, from the last couple years, I can't narrow it down much for you because I'm pretty behind on movies. I mean, from the last couple years, maybe um, Knives Out. Uh, let's see. What else have I fucking loved? I've, I just watched the trifecta of Bone Tomahawk, Selbel... Brawl in Cell Block 99 and Dragged Across Concrete. I loved all those. Favorite all-time movies are Matrix. Predator is my favorite. True Lies. North by Northwest. Vegetarius, thanks for gifted five subs. He's clocking in. Dude, thanks, Vag. Thanks, Vag. As you roll over, light a cigarette. <sighs> thanks, Vag. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Wouldn't advise saying that. Wouldn't advise trying it. <laughs> you might find yourself in a bit of a vag drought suddenly. Pervert monster. What's up? Dude? <laughs> Thanks for the bits, dude. What up, hat? I appreciate it. I should just start saying, Thanks, vag. All right, this, this weenie looks like he's got a bodyguard. Um, and games, Davios. Here we go. Oh, this is our chance. Oh my. Here we go. Do we get the thing? I'm just gonna get get the keyboard. And then get out. Ow, the accuracy. Luckily they only do 1%. Oh, eh. Break line of sight. Easy. Nope. Can't get up that hill. Do I have more time freezers? Okay. Have I played grounded? <laughs> I, did. I knew. I knew you guys were going to be asking about that. Cardiff, I played grounded for a bit with Atlas. Like, can I get in the plane and fly into the water? I shouldn't do it till my quest is done. That's science. It's awful. It's terrible. It's fun.
Oh, shit. Escort. Oh, we gotta go. Let's go. Let's move. Before... Can I fly with Jasmine? Let's find out. Meteor shower? No. No! We gotta fly. Jasmine, we gotta fly. Get it. Oh, I need more... Ah, I need more pilot skill to fly with a guest. Okay. Okay. Nope. 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 me in the face. <laughs> Hat trick. Thanks for gifting five subs. Um, Ira Von Doom, welcome. At tier three, Ira. Not clowning around here. You got the super secret boomer emote. Please use it sparingly. You also got the emote that I just put in for Mrs. Sark. Um, and Ghost, thanks for the bits. Oh, Kawhi, I did not... I missed you, Kawhi. We're going back. I'm going back. Um, and... Davio, so I'll keep thinking about... I mean, I really enjoyed Far Cry 5. I played that with Atlas offline. Got a little repetitive, but that's because we were, like, doing a lot of the side shit. Um, Kawhi, philosopher facts. When Plato gave the definition of man as featherless bipeds, Diogenes plucked a chicken and brought it into Plato's academy, saying, Behold, I've brought you a man. Diogenes was also said to have urinated on people who insulted him, defecated in the theater, and masturbated in public. He also publicly insulted Alexander the Great to his face. Sounds like a real piece of work, this fella. All right, we are quest here, health there. All right, first quest, then health. I want to see what happens. Or approach X challenge. Oh, I forgot about that. Ooh, that's ominous. I think we... we it said if we were feeling powerful enough, and I'm not. I, I can't even survive, like, inclement weather. Uh, I'm digging it so far, Davard. I'm still in the starting area, but... So I don't have any, like beefy skills to use or anything, but so far all the like the quests have worked. I haven't run into any real weird bugs. Let's take a plane over there. This mofo's got a gun. I'm as good with it as I am with... Wait, who's shooting at me? Holy shit. Okay, I'm going inside. Let's get our quest. <laughs> that 
the spread. Kill Carson, then kill uh, Aorm. Disarm, get the... Okay. Oh, kill Carson, but no detection. No additional detection, so I... Okay. Sounds tricky. I think that probably means... Nobody extra can notice me. What could be more stealthy than flying around in my personal jet? Do you have hentai in my Steam library? I was wondering about that. Don't mind me. Oh god, why am I stunt flying? Alright, we're gonna drop out right here. I have no idea if I got, like, nudie games or something. Also, like, I don't know what... I'm not familiar with what Twitch lets you get away with. Like, I know Conan is coming up. Conan Unchained, I think? I mean, that's pretty early on, anyway. That's in C, so it'll be, like, in the year 2050, but... I'm pretty sure there's titties in Conan. There better be. Can you show titties? Conan titties? I don't know if I don't think this is the 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 dick Conan Colfax maybe but it's not Exiles or is it Exiles? Hold on, it's Unchained. Age of Conan Unchained. Oh, it's A. That's why I saw it coming up. It's the old Conan game, not Exiles. Um. Toxic Company, The Witcher 3 sex scenes were allowed. Oh, okay. As long as it's not just about sex. Oh, here we go. I missed some. Drunken Beast and Kev K. Drunken Beast, thank you. Welcome, Mad Laughter in Amber Clad. Ooh, a Halo nod. I love it. Crispy Scutch, Quiet Fallen Angel, Hackaholic. Uh, welcome. And then Kev K, Pucker Brush. Wave music, booty profit, no soil. Cafuchinu. Dude, welcome. And thank you. I saw Drunken Beast and I just thought it was Kev K. I'm kidding, Kev. I'm kidding. Let's be honest. Some of the streams I've done, being hammered would probably have helped. <laughs> that goddamn roller coaster shit. <laughs> it's always helped me. Yeah. You've been hitting the bottle tonight. There we go. Dude, what's the bev Kev, what's the beverage of choice? Specifically for a Sark stream. Absinthe. Holy shit. Um, okay, so. Whiskey, bourbon, or rum? Okay. Alright, so I've got my. Did I utterly f fail to get the quest? I did. Apple juice, sarcaritas, white Russian. Oh, God. I nearly just immediately ate it.
All right, and this time we'll accept it. You dipshit. Okay. All right, so now we have kill Carson, no additional detection allowed. I'm not 100% sure what that means. Does it mean don't let this plane see me? Oh, that is Carson, I believe. Oh, well, okay. Carson. Okay, Car a Sark on the beach. What the actual fuck is this blunt force? <laughs> Dude, this is the next game on my A to Z Steam library. <gasps> look, look at Carson just raining. Ah! Shit, that did not work. Dude, like, look at my pistol like Tom Hanks at the end of Private Ryan. Okay, what's next? <laughs> now destroyed, kill Adam. Don't know why that D looked like a D this time, but... Okay. Alright, this... Adam looks like he's on foot, so. Dun, da, 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 da. Okay. I'm a seven point pilot. It's not a big deal really, but you know, it is what it is. All right, go disarm the bomb. <laughs> Papa Pepperoni, thanks for the resub. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and drop this plane right on this crowd of civilians. That guy definitely got a concussion. Okay, here we go. Get ready. Up, left, right, down. Dude, so far that... Thank God those are not hard. A new android is ready for testing on planet Zax. Hopefully our mix of code will result in a robot not only faster and stronger, but resistant to cyber attacks, which seem to originate... Dude, Zax just seems like a, like a, hack, a hacked planet. I <laughs> hear nuts. Insane. It's insane. This is esports. Oh shit, that does not pause. Okay. Item safe. Give the cube to Caleb. Okay. Plus five skills. All right. Quests right there. Got it. Clear. Dude, that's a big boy back there. Look at this guy. It's got a little cell shading on it. Now it cuts into like sex in the Blade Runner apartment song. <laughs> Kill Brianna. Protect Charlotte. Uh, 
that sounds like that sounds like shit. Oh, I guess we're done having sex in Deckard's shower. Sorry, chat. Put it away. Pack it up. Let's take a look at what's in here. Like, can I use... Those are consumable. Can I... I can't install them, though. Meteor shower. I'm already inside, bitch. Commander Shepard is dancing totally. Dildo of Justice. Thanks for the bits, Dildo. Crapoon. Welcome back, Stoli. And after over half a bottle, add water, and it just and it tastes just like it should. Keeping keep adding water until you get sleepy. Sorry, it's three a.m. here. I respect your decision to just drink straight Stoli. Well, I guess watered, maybe watered down. Let's accept. Wait, did I just accept two quests? I did. Fuck it. We'll do it. I'm in. For a minute 17. I know, Callum. I can protect somebody for five seconds. That's how much bullet time I have. Then it's over. <laughs> uh, Stoli is rough. Crop. That was the well vodka at um, probably at a lot of places, but at Olive Garden. But hallelujah, if it gets the job, it, do, it gets the job done. It does. Finland. Okay, so... First, protect Isaiah. Th oh, God. Oh, my. Where's my plane? It's not at this building. Okay. Oh, this is going to... Dude, the pistol is like the anti-air. Okay, okay. All right. This guy is contributing, at least. Ow! Oh, shit. No! Okay! All right, I'm out. Whatever. You're on your own. <laughs> Dude, stop. Leave. <laughs> what a dick. Okay, we're leaving. Um, good job. Slight detour. We're going to get our 30% 30, 30 health back.
Stoli is smooth crop? Oh shit. They must Stoli must be different in Finland. Cause over here it is not that. It actually wouldn't surprise me if it was a lot different. Uh, let's keep going upstairs. Now I need to try some Finnish Stoli. I'm not even in the right building. Am I? I am. All right, let's go on this next protection gig. What up, Barricade? Uh, oh, e uh, Bellic, thanks for the bits. Uh, Grim Ace Reaper, welcome. Let me just make sure I'm caught up here. DJ Toasters, thank you for the bits. Um, and ENG. We're playing some weird shit as usual. Oh, and I need to do this. I forgot I need to do this. Let's beef up the guns. Yeah, let's just go all in. Okay. My drink of choice. I like, uh... I kind of uh, really started to dig Crown Black, like Crown Royal, the black label. It's like butter. I think that's Canadian whiskey. Oh, you had finished vodka, Picado? Dude, what if... What if Crop has some, like... What if we just revolutionize Crop's vodka taste buds? Like, what would we... Don't. Don't. You did it. You had to do it. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness. Oh Jesus. Why? I'm in the middle of the fucking shit. Dude. <laughs> yeah, everybody died. Oh wait. I'm back. Oh, I thought I was dead. It just said... Now I... I was going to die anyway. Whatever. Whatever. Dude, I thought I was dead, and I wasn't. There was, like, three civilians in that corner that all got wasted, too. I couldn't go anywhere anyway. It's funny that they sort of stopped shooting at me at that moment, though. It added to the illusion. All right, I hope, do I still have my pistol? Good, I, I need to never lose my pistol. Dude, that was like a full on airstrike. We're going back here. Nice of them to start your ship off like right into a mushroom. 
Okay, we're going back here. Have I ever played Hired Ops? No, Barricade, I haven't. What's up? Welcome back, Hair Sweater. That's a good handle. Um, I'm trying to think if that... That sort of sounds familiar to me, though. Would I have seen that somewhere? I have to look it up. Free on Steam. Oh, okay. It's a few years old. Hmm. It sounds familiar for some reason. It's probably on the Steam library. Okay, accept this quest. Talk with uh, Reagan. Disarm. Talk with Quinn. Plant a bug on Eliana. Give the D-cube to Morgan. This sounds so much like it's like a high school gossip. <laughs> I gotta try and maybe hit a workbench at some point and see if I can assemble some of all this shit we've collected. Um, first talk with Regan. Don't kill Um, okay, that's that's easy enough. As long as the Blue Air Force, it's the game that came out before Tarkov. Okay, let's talk to. Okay. Can I get out of here? Please don't crash me straight into the ramp. Okay. Okay, there's the bomb. I'm really gambling flying around, but it's so much faster. Okay. Inventory is full. Okay, here's our next... No, don't do that. Here's our next uh, challenge. Drop some bullshit. I don't need a sword hilt. There we go. Pretty intuitive. Emotive beings populate Zax. Combined with the increases in cyber attacks from this planet and the unpredictability of emotion, this area must be controlled. Okay. Next is... Item safe. Talk with Quinn. Don't kill Quinn. Don't hit my plane with your head. And no additional detection. Okay. Okay. Let's chat. After talking, plant a bug on Eliana. Okay. Don't det she can't see us. Where is she? Over there. All right. This might not be a. Look at this plane dispenser. Eliana's distracted. While she's murdering... Oh, no. Shit. K! 
FK, gifting the sub to I Voltara and Il Picado. Welcome you two. <gasps> I don't have many points in stealth. I'm hoping I don't. <gasps> <laughs> Shit. Shit! Now you die. Eliana, you betch. Hold on. I want that. No. God. I need to... F hotkey that somewhere else um let's get rid of level one sword don't care uh you just finished a drawing you've been working on Kawhi. i'm afraid to ask what have you been drawing? There, I said it. Cooking update. I've put two small russet potatoes and some frozen broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots in the oven to roast for about an hour. Hold on, this is our building. I put some olive oil, herbs, salt, pepper. Okay, all right, doing some cooking. Is the stream on like, uh, you got your phone like propped up? Drawing lips with reference from a photographer using charcoal and chalk. I cannot draw human beings. They come out looking like some shit out of Spy Kids. I admire people that, that can... Draw and like living shit, animals. Can't do it. Okay, escort Molly safely to a specific area. All right, let's remember to put some points into piloting next so that we can fly with a partner. Molly's following me. Okay. How far will Molly follow me for? Yeah, follow me. <laughs> what a hero I am. I'm like, all right. I'll <laughs> what an escort that was. Okay, what's next? Bot mu move to be at the cube. Okay. Oh, I thought they were. I just needed to disengage them. Got it. Okay. Use a workbench. Yep. Thank you for reminding me. Planes go in the water. There's no way. We haven't seen a plane in the water yet. I'm abandoning ship. Yeah, I could see lips being... A 
pain. Hands, feet. Shit's hard. Um, let's get rid of I've already got to torso armor. We're getting rid of this. And then we, we're doing a workbench after this. Emotive beings populate. Yeah, we got that. Next. Escort Elise. Okay. Science. Okay. Makelios, welcome. Kev K holds the door for you. Jeez, we went. We went a ways. Dude, if you got stuck out there and there was a meteor shower, you'd be screwed. You need to get under a tree. Oh, what am I? <sighs> Fuck it, we're going to a workbench. I'm not paying attention. And then we're getting this plane and we're just flying out there again. God damn it. Cheesy mashed potato. What is this game? Uh, Kev K also gifting a sub. Dude, tier two? Dropping tier two gifts, Kev? Lex, Lex Thelion. Welcome. The tier two emotes are what I'm going to work on next. I have quest items from failed quests. That sounds right. Also, I'm slow as hell right now, and I'm not sure if that's just because I'm used to flying around. Let's get in here. Um, and we'll top off. See if we can combine any of this. Maybe sell some of it. Um, hold on. Yeah, that's okay. That won't go with a rifle. Okay. That won't go. Launcher, not with energy launcher. Okay. That's pistol. Pistol. Oh, we have a complete gravity gun. That shit... Oh, our sword busted. Dude, that must have been... We lose a part when we die. We must have lost a part of our sword. Um, two gravity guns we have. Stealth, 1.5. 3.7 cooldown, 8.9. 1.5.3789. This one's way better. Or I like it better. 
Uh, let's see. Stamina, defense, piloting. Defense, prestige. Don't care about prestige. We got some pants. Do I have... I wish I could tell which of these cubes I need, but I can't. So we'll, so we'll wait till I use the cube I've got. I don't want to sell my chips. Oh, energy pistol versus pistol. Got it. Okay. Dude, I want this rifle to be done. I could sell the other gravity gun. Okay. All right. Um... Let's sell the pants. Can I sell weapons to you too? Okay, good. Launcher, energy launcher. I'll keep building just in case. Energy rifle. I'm already cooking up a rifle I like. We're going to get rid of you. We'll make bank on this gravy gun. So I'm going to sell you. And we'll keep working on this stuff. Okay. And I have no idea what this is for yet. We'll see. This is my other partially completed gun. Fuck it. I'm liking this one. Okay. Um, is this a play until complete? Uh, probably not. I'm just playing for a little while, then we'll move on. I might revisit this. I wanted to knock out some of these quests, but the quests are knocking me out. This okay, this is not that's not bad. We can fly over there. Just stay out of sight. Meteor shower shit. Get inside. Park the ship. I ain't messing around with the meteor showers. Dude, what a shitty place. <laughs> to oh my god, it's killing the civilians. This reminds me of L.A. Uh, waiting for an earthquake. Like, well, hope, uh, hope it's not today. Hope it's not while I'm at a red light under an overpass. Dude, those are like huge explosions. All right, we're clear. Let's get out of here. Nice. Nice, Vag. Thanks for the good vibes, Vag. This game is oddly relaxing, actually. Is 
this? Elise? Escort Elise to a specific area. Okay. Is it back in town? It is. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to do... Okay, follow me into town, Elise. Okay. Okay. Bot moved. Kill the leader, Chloe. Gotta kill Chloe. I'm gonna make a Discord for this community to hang out. That was something that uh, Hutchison was talking to me about. Not Hutch uh, Hutchison, but Mod Hutchison. Oh my god. Unsubscribe. Uh, yeah, at some point, Kev. Oh, you can stop following me. There you go. You're good. You're clear. Um, okay, who's the leader? Oh, this plane does not have guns. All planes are not created equal. Oh, this plane is on me. Um, let's pick up some of these. Before we start our battle with the leader. Who is outside. Yeah, the quests do feel the same. I'm wondering if it's just trying to beef you up. Oh, shit. It's just hard to tell. It might just, that might just be the, uh, the way that this game goes. There can't be that much variety, though, considering what he had to work with, so. All right, let's go see where this Chloe is. That's Chloe. That must be Chloe. Dude, I need a ship with a gun. Let's see if this plane has one. There we go. Okay. All right. was the plane up there based on the mini map it's this chick yes yes okay reload Nailed it. Uh, tweeted the three drawings you've done in the last uh, 24 hours. Dude, I'll check them out, Kawhi. 
Yeah, I want to see him. I'll check him here in just a bit. Um, AK, thanks for the donation. Been a fan since you were 13. <laughs> 21 now. Dude. That's awesome to hear. I hear that a lot. Not just been a fan since for a long time, but like kids that are not kids anymore. Very strange. Nux. Two months, dude. Welcome. Calcober. Resubbing. We got Crooked Man. Um, Evil Ari, welcome. And then uh, Kev K uh, ushering Quantum Space Cat into the fold. What's up, Quantum? Oh, Austin's right down there. Shit, I'm, I gotta... Oh, is that Austin? No. You can die. I don't care. Son of a bitch. I gotta pay more attention. Uh, Moiquato. This game is called 3089. It's just next on my list. I think we're gonna switch it here in just a bit. Just because I feel like we've got an idea of what what it's all about. Dude, he just drifts away. The robots out here are so sad. And getting back into town from out here is a pain. Science is about to happen. We fly in the water. Hallelujah. Let's try it. Oh, that's... That's nice. This is like an action RPG made by some guy. I think I picked it up probably because I was interested in uh, what one guy could have cooked up. You know what we're going to do before we bail fully is we're going to go after that X marker and see what... That I think we were supposed to level up a bit before we head to and see what it is. Um, Nightwolf, welcome. I think I got you. Are you guys talking ramen in chat? Dude, don't do that to me. God. Suddenly hungry. I love, I love all ramen. I love the shit that costs like a cent. And I love like the fancy stuff. Dude, ramen's just good. We gotta try this baby out. Do I need ammo for this? Because it's, sh it's not showing that I have any bullets. Let me try a test shot. No crate light enough for level of gravity gun. No way. It's an actual gravity gun? Um... What up, Orange Duck? Best meal you ever had was ramen in Tokyo. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's got an actual gravity gun. Salmon! It's pretty, uh, it's cool for what it is, Salmon. I think this game must cost like a couple bucks. I forget how much it costs. I'll have to look. 
Hold on, so what does alt fire do on this? Oh, it just drops it. Okay, so then can I, does this blow up that? No. So I don't know if this does me any good. In uh, combat. Yeah, it just seems like it moves shit around. Hmm, interesting. That's bizarre. Okay, so let's do... We're in between quests. We need some energy. I think the grab gun was... Health, yes, okay. Let's go get our energy and then we're gonna go check. It said, so what we've had so far is a bunch of quests, sort of like starting area quests that are all very similar. But it did say when you're feeling powerful enough, go to the X marker. And go do something. So it's gonna be a $40 game. Let me look it up actually. Six ninety nine. I probably got it for like a dollar on some weird Steam sale. Um, I'll be right back. Going to the bathroom. All right, let's do this. Vicious, thanks for resubbing. Mars Gravel, still in for three months. <laughs> um, and we got, s oh, Salmon, yep, dude, BRB screen. Well, I had one, it was just made in like paint. Um, let's see. Cheesy mashed potato. Did I not get you? That doesn't sound like... I think I skipped you, cheesy mashed potato. But welcome back. Crooked man. Alright, I think that's good. Man of... Man of demand. Xenon. Welcome, Xenon. Alright. So we're going to head out there uh, and see what's up. And then we're going to, uh, we'll rotate games. This game, uh, this game gets a thumbs up so far. What's my go-to at Red Lobster? My go-to is to not go to. <laughs> of the Darden restaurants, I'll, I'll hit up uh, Olive Garden. But Red Lobster.
Red Lobster for me, f I file it sort of under, um, what was it called? Sizzler. No, no, fabulous. I will still eat at Olive Garden any day. It's still, it was good to me even when I was eating it every day. I don't know why. I don't think it's good Italian food. I think it's just delicious trash i don't know why <laughs> red lobster wasn't always such a fan it reminds me of sizzler do you remember sizzler or uh um well red lobster reminds me of sizzler in a, in in some ways but speaking of restaurants that i like I haven't eaten that in ages. Do you guys remember Shakey's? Shakey's Pizza? Did you have Shakey's in your area? Shakey's is a lonely, lonely ass. Is it above? It's in the water. Okay. Holy shit, what is that? Look at that thing. What is that? Ah! Oh! Oh! Dude, it took my steering away. Oh, it stunned me. Oh, now I'm out. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm... St now I'm not stunned. Okay, well, there's a boss. We got to level, we would have to level up before we <laughs> tackle that. Uh, that's a chip. I think that's probably a game save right there. Okay, well, that's 3089. What is this? Overlord Rescue Engaging? Hold up, what did I... Oh, is that like an unstuck? Okay, then what's this? Oh, no active teleporters. A new one must be built. Oh, so you must be able to build, like, pads. Dude, there's a lot to this. Um, X challenge location reset. Oh, so it's he's got all this unstuck. If that boss. Was not in a. Uh, got stuck or you needed it moved let's go see it again I just want to see it again oh sh sh stop it Dude, I, you gotta level up this shit. Fuck it. I get it. Okay. Alright, let me get the next game. Queued up. That was three, uh, 3,089. <laughs> no, we didn't beat it, heck. We're just, we're just moving on. <sighs> no Man's Sky update. Thanks, Ty Guy. Far Cry Tears. 
Um, just spilled your drink all over your desk. But it missed your mouse and your PC. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, I got the idea, Salmon. It's a good game, actually. Uh, impressive. What's next? I think I got the next few installed. I mean, I don't think it's going to be incredible, but this is what we got to do. Let me change my... category here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to resize everything. Hold on. And now I can see you guys. Hold up. Dude, I have no idea. Is this... Hold on, I don't, I wanna see that. But with audio this time. Ah, oh, jacks up my desktop every time. And then it cancels the <laughs> I've already tried to scoot this to uh, full resolution, but it doesn't have that option. So we're just going to try and get this to work so that I can still see you guys when everything... Okay, okay, we got audio. Okay, fuck it. Okay. So I've entered my profile. I just launched this to see if I could get it to work. <clears throat> uh, Null effects, thanks for the bits. Have a good night, dude. Have some fun games. And Kev K, again, thank you. Shit. Why did I click this? Why did I click off? Um, we got some birthday wishes in chat. Um, I did see that. Oh, Salmon coming in now, reminding me. Thank you, Salmon. Yep, birthday wishes to Colton. HBD, Colton. HBD. Okay. I have no idea what this is. Requested by Ms. Sark. There's a Ms. Sark? Jesus. This is getting dangerous for me, Jack. The rough skin newt is from North America is from North America and produces an extremely potent uh toxic called tetrodotoxin same as pufferfish uh, that have uh, that has killed people on some islands garter snakes have evolved to increase their resistance to it what was it a newt all right i have no idea what this is or why i own it this is the 39 steps it looks like it's a digital adaptation of john buckins espionage thriller 
I thought that might be Buchan, but I was looked it up earlier, and it sounds like Buchan, but... <sighs> Are you a homosexual, Sark? Dude, I am... Um, I'm a protosexual salmon. So I have no idea what this game is. We're diving in. Oh, the cursor does not. This is going to be dodgy. All right, let's do it. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. New game. Okay, rotate your mouse clockwise to advance text. Okay. Anti-clockwise makes you go back. Where'd our sound go? Okay. <laughs> Jesus. When you reach the end of a string of text, you'll see a diamond. Simply left-click anywhere to advance the scene, moving the story forward. <clears throat> okay, so that's weird. <clears throat> Anti-clockwise. <laughs> Pro. Um, thanks to three women breaking lockdown restriction in Australia, I think, right, Pro? Or Austin, Australia. I forget. Causing a second wave of Rona in my state. That's Austin, right? Um, it Australia, yeah, yeah, yeah. ENG, it might be, sh it might be. I haven't seen Hitchcock's film, but he might have based it on this. So, so the author who this is apparently based on is super old, like old school, like nineteen twenty. So. It wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so Australia. Thanks to three women breaking lockdown restriction in Australia and causing a second wave of Rona in my state, I have to self-isolate to protect my clients for two weeks. Thanks for the stream and maintaining my sanity. Hope your family is well and staying safe. So far, so good, pro. Even though Texas is in a bit of a... Um, relapse as well. Uh, what kind of music have I been listening to lately? Kev K asks. Um, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking us, like Austin and Corona and State. I've thought of Texas because Texas is in the middle of uh, some mayhem right now. What kind of music have I been listening to? I've been listening to... Um, I mean, I've been listening to a lot of shit. I've been listening to some, I would say, a good chunk of, like, trip hop, Kev K. Also some chill, like, break beat. Uh, some drum and bass. Chill, though. I don't know why. That's just what the way it's been going. All right. Click. So 39 Steps is largely a pointer-free experience. Let me bust out. I don't want to keep alt-tabbing this because my computer freaks out. So let's just look. Let's do some research. Thirty nine steps, Hitchcock. Dude, that's old Hitchcock. Nineteen thirty five. How far into his filmography is that? Let's look. Oh, 
Oh shit, I did not even know he had like 15 silent films. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 films into Hitchcock making movies with audio. Right after The Man Who Knew Too Much. Is it this? Is it based on this story? Loosely, he based his film loosely on the 1915 novel that this is ba also based off of. Concerns an everyman civilian in London who becomes caught up in preventing an organization of spies called the 39 Steps from stealing British military secrets. Okay. Oh, Ricky wants to play Fall Guys. I don't even have Fall Guys, I don't think. Um, okay. Um, Kava Style, welcome. Thanks, Kev. Let's do it. When you see one, this is your cue to interact. Okay, so the clockwise and anti-clockwise. <laughs> We're just going to go with anti. Uh, is a strange way to advance text. Is this going to be like a visual novel style thing? Some locations can be explored. Swooshy swoosh. When in explore mode, you can click and drag the mouse to look around. You can also interact with glowing objects. Okay. Dude, we're right back into numerically titled point and click. London apartment. Okay. There's our glowing object. Click image to zoom, drag, or arrow keys to move. Okay. Bennings Bank. Dear Mr. Hannay, welcome to England. I hope your journey from Rhodesia was not too arduous. Would you like to come into the bank and we can discuss matters regarding your Rhodesian mining shares? If you could please make an appointment with my clerk, Mr. Scoop, on Temple 6733, yours sincerely. Does this just show it on screen? Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. What was this at the bottom? Oh, that's a zoom slider. Okay. How is every game? <laughs> well, to, we did play two bonus ones so that we could get seventh guest consecutively in order, but it's still very strange. Do I click this? Oh, then I just... Congratulations, you made it through a short tutorial and have been given an award for your efforts. <laughs> there are 15 more of these to collect. Okay, so now do I anti-clockwise that? No, okay. You will shortly begin your journey through the 39 steps. All progress will be auto-saved, but you can also use bookmarks to manage your progress and revisit key scenes. We're going for best, best ending. <clears throat> Finally, back to the backbone of this channel. <laughs> right click or hit spacebar to return to the main menu screen during play. This also acts as pause. Okay. Oh, look at this. Um. Jack Grady, sauropods like Diplodocus and Titanosaurs were able to get so big because they had literal air sacs in their bones. This made their bones lighter and stronger. Richard Hannay is living in London, England. He yearns for a more interesting life. 
the wrong ditch. Dude, I feel like I'm watching an old school movie right now. Monday, 18th of May, 1914, London, England. Good audio here. I returned from the city on that May afternoon pretty well disgusted with life. This isn't even like point and click. This is point and swoosh. Swoosh and click. <laughs> oh, let me swoosh. Swooshing. I'd been there three months in the old country and was fed up with it. I can't see my OBS feed. Is my face still on here? Okay. How many of you guys have seen the Hitchcock movie? Sai Pasta, what's up? You oh. got into the wrong ditch, my friend, and you had better climb out. Um. All right, Sai Pasta, thanks for the gift and the gifted storm. We got Outsider, Desh, Zafina, Brandon, Regen, Squire. Irradiated Mothman, Saren, and Banana. Welcome. <clears throat> all right. I have no idea if this is I'm committing to a path or if we're going to explore all these. So we're going to just start with, or if I'm choosing a, I don't know. Let's start with um, the present. A lot of imperialist ladies asked me to tea to meet schoolmasters from New Zealand and editors from Vancouver, and that was the most dismal business of all. I had no real pal to go about with, which probably explains things. Plenty of people invited me to their houses, but they didn't seem much interested in me. I had counted on stopping in London for the rest of my days, but from the first, I was disappointed with it. I was the best bored man. Is this going to be... I'm already... My father had brought me out from Scotland to South Africa at the age of six, and I had never been home since. I grew up in the Cape Colony, which was then under British rule. Uh, Billy Two Pistol, what's up? Welcome. This is... Let's get through this first phase. I want to see if their adaptation of the novel is just an abridgment like this. And I want to see what the game mechanics are. Because th I may not play... Th this may be something that would be fun to play off-stream. Or better to play off-stream. But we'll see. The Carer. My final years in Africa were in the municipality of Bulawayo. Where I had fought during the Matabele War. I resided once again with my father who had taken ill. After he died, I decided to leave the Cape and head back to the old country. As a teenager, I spent much of my time by the Zambezi where I would fish. There are several hundred species in its waters. Holy shit, Jack. Did you know Richard Hene, Jack? Cypasta. Whoa, whoa. Cypasta's going in. Show him some love if you uh, were just gifted a sub. And if you weren't, show him some love. We got Crystalira, Clockwork Penguin, Dying Blades, Big Dick Bob, Sam Paul Tree, Pitha, Transplanted American, Justin, Sparmagadi, and Batman. Elastic Man, thanks for subbing. We got a bunch of new Sark pals in chat. He is legit, Flop, for sure. Hold on. Where'd Flup go? Oh, God, I alt-tabbed. 
Rest in pieces. Oh, Jesus. Cypost has fallen asleep on his keyboard. Welcome, Flup. <laughs> he and I are old pals. Hold on, let me try and fix my... I never should have alt-tabbed. Okay. Uh, brand new to the party. We've got uh, Flup Nuts. Welcome. We've got Avox, Indwell, Skills, Rudy, Chinaman, Noodles, the best. We got Madman, tr <laughs> Truck Stop, Daft, Pseudo, Ariel, and Guitar Man Sam resub. And welcome back, Guitar Man. Uh, Travesty94, bringing in Ariel Studio, Studio, Su Su Studio. Oh shit. Oh shit. Sai pasta. Sai pasta. You're going to activate sticky keys if you keep spamming this. Ushering in a new era. We've got uh, Tiddlywinkles, Vaughn, Trick Jester, Zanabi, Dak, Fender, King Alex, uh, Honry, Ogle, and Mercus Mercutio, Mercutio. Indwell is uh, welcoming in Kala Cuckoo. Welcome to the party. Pals, hold on. I gotta, I gotta alt tab again. Good music so far. I like it. Hold on, getting caught up. Far Cry Tears. Kev K. Kev. Okay, Kev. Thank you again, Sai Pasta. That's a real, that's a real like burly chunk of gen generosity there. I appreciate it. A lot of uh, second class private stripes handed out. Uh, thanks, Kev K. And Delta Mike. Bringing in Podo, Plastius, Alder, Sajak, Ether, Alatex, Thors, Kiwi, Metalloid, Amphibia, Two Spook, and Far Cry Tears dropping some animal tips. Fish fact the African. Wait, wait, where the, what, what's with all the fish facts, Far Cry? Are you a fishologist? African tiger fish is the only freshwater fish that actively hunts birds mid flight. It follows the African swallow as they fly close to the water, then jumps out to grab them mid flight with a 20% success rate. That reminds me of the bug that shoots water. Was that the bug? Oh, no, it was a plant that shoots. No, a fish that shoots bugs out of the air. <laughs> Vegetarius. <laughs> Thanks for the bits. All right, here we go. Let's do, let's. Let's, let's continue this. Those of you who are new, he owns one. He's a fishologist then. In my book. An aficionado. Oh God, why? Those of you who are just joining us, I'm playing through my Steam library in, in fits and starts. A to Z, we're on the 39 steps. An old spy novel 
that was subsequently turned into, turns out, a Hitchcock film. We're not beating all the games. We're just getting a taste. So far, this is has a very visual novel. Uh. Richard Hannay, you have got into the wrong ditch, my friend. Captain you Clark. To climb out. Two, three, two. A new contender, Jock. Are you like Bruce Buffer? Is that his name? The UFC announcer? <laughs> uh, Captain Clark, thank you. And welcome to Pitts, Rennie, um, Chiang, Diefiend. Nuka Taco, Chestnut, Vikami, Vikarni. Sorry, the Carney. We've got Underwater Mage King, Action Man 3K, and uh, I don't even know how to phonetically say anything in your name, but please. So I'm just going to go with please. Welcome. And then, oh, God, why did I alt tabbed? Don't do it. Okay, okay. Psy Pasta. Kef K. Whoa, you guys are... It's go it's going off right now. What the hell? <laughs> A really cool stick. Yeah, I I can't even keep track. Stick. All right, welcome. Sci Pasta and Kev K dropping more bombs. And Hospi Hospi Water. Welcome. Just subbing and then dropping their own gift block. Okay, Saipasa, you have introduced to the uh, party. You've invited to the party our boy, Zy Monkey, Aki, Toasty, Cattywampus, Mad Guy, Wanderer, Snitch Staff, uh, The Great DB, and Kveld. Kev K, you're bringing in Drake. Outdated Grandpa, I feel that spiritually. Fatty Daddy, I feel that one too. Uh, Vode, Flux, Flux Plucker, I like that. Schmolik, Professor Rez. We've got Andre, Droobs, and Grave Guy. Then Hospi rolls in. Welcome, by the way, Hospi. This has happened a couple times today where someone subs and then just... Starts gifting immediately. Um, Hospi, you've brought in uh, Senior, Tricky, Rugby, uh, Oregon Trail, Bigfoot, and Zeke, and Vegetarius, bringing in uh, Lord Sayura, War Dog, Brown Heezus, just Frig off Randy, <laughs> and Flame and Fanta. Uh, a really cool stick. Paying it forward. Bruce's Goose's style. What's up? Thanks, stick. You've brought Professor in? Okay, this is... Now I have two visual novels happening on my computer simultaneously. One of them I paid for, and one of them is paying me. Not a bad deal. We've got, oh my God. Okay. All right. I like how this sad music is playing. <laughs> and people are being welcomed into what looks to be quite a bleak experience. All right, let's get caught up. <laughs> Play some good tunes. That's a good idea, Vag. Um, how do I even...
All right, let's just quit this for a sec. We'll come back to it. Let's get our electro swing going again. Okay. All right. Everybody just settle down. We got some beats on the phonograph. Let's say hello. Anik Lumos is still cooking, by the way. Might have uh, burned the veggies a bit, but they're still tasty. Okay. Potatoes are great with some... Uh, I put shredded in some... I put in some shredded cheddar cheese. Okay. Some butter. Okay. Ghost, I see you. Hold on. Um, some salt and pepper. Okay. All right. Vegetarius, thank you again. Let's get this turned out. Okay. Uh, really cool stick. I think it's really cool of you to have gifted a sub after you were gifted a sub. Thanks, pal. To Professor. Captain Clark. Wait, Captain Clark. Hold on. Captain Clark just gifted a huge chunk of subs. And he... That was... Six minutes ago. Then, Captain Clark just subbed. Captain Clark's dropping gift subs and he's not even subbed. I didn't even know that was possible. Isn't that even... Have you bent? Have you broken time? Kota Kiwi, thanks for the donation. Watched, uh, hi Sark, I watched you back when I was a young lad in school. Thanks for all the laughs. And now you're getting me through my masters. Holy shit. Dude, that's awesome. Stick with it, Coda. Finish that shit. I love to, I love to hear it. All right, Pervert Monster. A name we all know and love. Gifts a sub to Amuck Duck, uh, Hushed, Bean Lord, Young Buck, and Velcro. Thanks, pervert. Between you and Vag, my most awkward thanks every stream. As I shout, thanks, pervert, and thanks, Vag. While a window right there basically carries my voice right into my neighbor's house. So thank, thanks both of you for that. Ghost813. Gifting subs to... Who do we got? Who's new? Courtesy of Ghost, welcome to Sage Quit Blazing Dragon. Um, Bobo Cody, El Clandestino, and Charlie Girl. Welcome to the party, everyone. And thank you, Ghost. Think of the real world version of this. Like this is my party, but it's actually encouraged for you to just show up with as many friends <laughs> as you want. <laughs> it does not translate <laughs> at all. On Twitch, amazing. In real life, what the fuck are you doing here with all of the, Psy Pasta, why are you on my doorstep with 70 people? Or however many it is. That's like a... That would have been like an X-Play skit. Twitch gifted subs IRL. Uh, Alright, Psy Pasta, you're up next here. Dropping a huge chunk on top of all the chunks. Building a monolith here. Um, the following folks have just been given their 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 stripes by Psy Pasta. Junker Jack, uh, Coca Cola Lemon Zero Sugar, hopefully sponsored. Mastodank, Tamia, Wigsy, Kirill, McGow, Hilbert. Bergstaller, Burn Toast, 
Commander 34, the other guy, the Afro Ninja, Matthias, Samurai, Moses, Boy Genius, Tech Warfare, Dan's, Roy's Left Nut, welcome. Hopefully the rest of you follow suit, Roy. Otherwise, it's going to be an awkward party for you. Oak and Lily, Samuel Felt. Dude, that's the latest in the Psy Pasta entourage. It was followed by Elder Goose gifting a sub to Syrupy Canadian. This is where we're at now, huh? This is my visual novel. All right, now this is... <laughs> I keep mouse wheeling up. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, you guys. Ghost coming back in with another five. Gifting us <laughs> gifting subs to B55555. Mr. Universe in a jiffy. Ashes of a shala. What a regal handle that is. And the deadly lampshade. That sounds like a Hitchcock script. Wait, what is this? This is another Psy Pasta chunk? Okay, let's... Let's pause for a second. And... Just take on board that the Zambezi shark is the African name of the bull shark. The bull shark is one of the few fish species that can tolerate both salt and fresh water. They can live to around 30 years and nearly 9 feet long. Stingrays are a major prey source. <clears throat> That's something I like to think about while I'm wakeboarding, for example. Jack. That there's a proto shark out there that can breathe whatever it likes. Okay, Psy Pasta. This is like the 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 clown car of gifted subs, and you're all Psy Pasta's clowns, and he's the king clown. So welcome. <laughs> to the new jesters, Rochambeau, Rob Buns, Dr. Ewellen, Lewis the 19th, Crispy Mike, Play Deity, Puddle Zero, Maroon, Fireplays, and Snazzy Breezy. I'm starting to suspect that you are coming in the door, going out the side door, and coming back in the front door. Is this a, an illusion? Pasta? And also, thank you for, like having food in your name, and just making me even more hungry. <clears throat> this is the game now. This is, this is where we're at. Internet tab, gifting a sub to Din Din. Thanks, thanks tab. <laughs> Put it in reverse, Terry. <laughs> thanks, Jelly Man. All right, Kev K, gifting a sub to Tree Murderer, Thumb Cut, Sniper Wolf, not that sniper wolf, I don't think. Johnny Cake, Roanland, Death Streaks, Young Seaman, Gintsy, Butcher Pete, and A Bay Ballas, or I Bay Ballas. Could be either. Those are the new members of Kev K's entourage. Welcome. And thank you, Kev. I hope your uh, whiskey bourbon rum is delightful this evening. Um, Anik Lumos, thanks for the bits. Goddamn dude. That's right. Goddamn dude is right. And also congratulations on your delicious taters, Anik Lumos. And your veggies. Personally, I like shit a little crispy. Tasty dabs. Welcome to... Just me welcoming people, I guess. But welcome. Um, Travesty gives five subs to uh, Stealthy Knight, Ocho Muerte, Parker Kane, um, Jamie Coon or J. Mike Coon, and uh, 
Who's we got? Black Jesus, 690,000. That's a lot of black Jesuses that we're already taking. All right, now we've entered sniper mode. Psy Pasta snipes a gift sub to Chaos Awakens. Kev K hits uh, Mac Makinka. Hospi Water hits Mysterious. AJ Anderson, thanks for resubbing. Hey, Sark, how's it going? It's going great, obviously. A bunch of people have been subbed thanks to a bunch of people. Welcome back for three months. And Ghost snipes Brittany Bowers with a sub. And there we go. Oh, okay. Clipped young seaman but can't share. I don't even know how do I turn on permissions, Private, private John Doe. Okay. You get a sub. The Oprah of gifted subs. We we have guys. Sci Pasta is um going in, but we have this this chat has a f like a force of incredibly generous sub gifters. Um, Pretty, it's actually pretty dazzling. Vegetarius, thanks for the bits. Sci pasta. That is a list right there. Damn, dude. Daniel. Internet tab. Gifting a sub to OC. Delta Mike gifting one to Zanjai. All right, let's go down this list here, Sai. Um, Sai just gifted subs to Guy, Scotty, Mokiaro, Maroon Macaroons, Double A One, Valenti Knee, Bobblehead, Violet Usagi, Snicky, Jimmy Cooper, Emmett, Nikos, Seduct Tape, um, Lack Nugget, or maybe LA Nugget with a K. Could be either. It Be Frisco. RJ. Zarok. Um, the Small Fundamental. Taste of Bread. And JD Mage. JD Mage. JD Madge. JD. We'll just go with JD. Oh, switch to just chatting? I should. That's a good idea. Uh, Navy. I think we're I think we're chilling out here. We got a lot of new subs here. I think we should Major Peen Pain. Gifting a sub to in, in for a day. Thanks, Major, and welcome. In for a day. Maybe we'll switch games a little for a little bit. Family's been good, uh, Pry. They are just back from uh, being gone for a while, so I've been chilling with them. Kindle donating $5. <laughs> I love the, the tri random trivia that's coming in. If this sub train was an IRL train, it would be the Gone. The Gone is a passenger train in Australia that runs between... Um, Adelaide and Darwin. The train consists of 44 passenger cars and two locomotives and stretches for almost a mile. Have a good night, God Haver. What games have I been playing? Well, we were just starting... 
welcome stay frosty let's get it let's get in let's get in and see this game uh, we've been playing um who was just asking pickled dealer <sighs> welcome back brick walls we've been playing my steam library a to z no matter what but not not i mean skipping ones that i you know the games that i don't know how they got on there stay frosty gifting subs okay hold on we got I, we need more music i think okay 1200 alexa alexa play limp biscuit that's 1200 <laughs> okay uh, welcome back brick walls we got stay frosty I know it's killer Brittany did it work Vag? <laughs> dude it's not me it's not me I'm just reading the name Blame Alexa. That's too funny. <laughs> that is the joke that probably never stops working. Okay, stay frosty. We uh, gift in the sub. We're going to go through this real quick. Quiet the Riot. Creative username. 12345. Uh, Technolorian. Zenko Gaming. And Trickets or Trick Hats. Good shit, stay frosty. Thank you. Uh, we've got Cy Pasta gifting more subs to his platoon. Uh, Trigger 101, X Kaido, Midnight Wisher, Lemons, Drenir, Tovia, Tyred, Watt Street, Ark of Angel, and Burrus or Burhus. Chris Albion dipping back in for his third month with some kumis thank you chris welcome back stay frosty uh expands the their force here with pinhead 7775888 monster ralph and nut nutnar or nut on nut ton nut toner nut toner We'll just go with nut. And immediately follows it up. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just reading off gifted subs, Dark Assassin. I think the hype train derailed, Crummy. Stay Frosty follows it up with Blitzkrieg, Save My Dragon, 100, Broken Unicycle, and Avers. Uh, good shit, Frosty. Welcome to the party, pals. And then Kev K bringing in Potal Man, Yibwin, or maybe just Bwin, Red Sun, Sunny, Punk Davis, Spongloidian. That's fun to say. The Ultimate. Pure Smegma, Lord Puddingsworth, and Stadius. Thanks, Kev. Welcome, everybody. Stay frosty. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Sniping sheep. Lurkin. Izhaz. Gunslinger. Thank you. Thank you, Stay Frosty. Welcome to the party. We're getting in. We're getting in. Tired of reading. I'm taking a break from reading. Taking a break from reading. We're getting into a game real quick.
Okay, okay. Hopefully this isn't too loud. Yeah, this game just got up updated, Fedora, and it's it's dope as hell. Okay, we're going in. How many Steam, Steam games? Bravo, it's about 1,200 total. We're switching to Gunfire Reborn. Did it change? Dude, my shit is all lagging. I'll just do it again just to make sure. I played this game a bunch. This is a rogue light shooter. Uh, I did a sponsored video for this uh, maybe a month ago and have not s stopped playing it. Um... This game is super fun. So, we're going to just hop in and shoot some stuff. Let me turn it down. Furry <laughs> shooter RPG dungeon crawler. Dude, I know. All right, we're going to do elite. We're going to do elite mode for a bit. Um... So this is you play the uh the essentially three three levels, five stages each and you the runs are always different based on uh the guns and the power-ups that you pick up along the way. And when you die, you lose everything, you go back to the beginning and you rinse and repeat, but your hero levels up as you go in the background. So as you, you know, it just continues to morph. It's a fun ass grind. I'm still on just chatting. I've put it on Gunfire Reborn twice. Hold on, let me try it in the browser here. Mm hmm. Okay. That should be good. Welcome, Chaz. All right, hopefully that sticks. And Cypasta Snipes Pickle Dealer. <laughs> so I've gotten to the point in this game that I've started doing, um, like, gag runs. Uh, the... The two heroes, there's a cat and a dog. I play the dog who can dual wield, but I only dual wield with the dog maybe a quarter of the time. And the rest of the time, I just like, it just depends on the run. I like his damage boosts. It just depends on what guns I pick up. And I've started trying to do, um, like, beat the game with different weapons or... Uh, I haven't tried beat the game with the first gun that I pick up. Now, it's going to take years. It is, bravo. Years. <laughs> Thanks, Chaz. <laughs> and welcome back, Far Cry. There's also a bit of a, like a meta shift here so like one thing i've started to favor heavily is guns that generate a lot of revenue because then i can pump them up and this is very lucky because the rainbow is one of my favorites and it also is low damage so with a perk that i have what up vulture that you get copper for critical hits low damage rakes in the cash. So we're going to start with that. Uh, Cypasta, gift and subs to Fireman Jimbo, Chichong Chichong, High Side Live, Chip Bonito, K Soze. Is that like a Chichin Chong in an alternate universe? 
Where's just two Chongs? Um, and then we, and then we've got Jack Grady coming in. Panda bears are so oh panda relevant, like relevant. The innkeeper is a panda, if you'll recall. Panda bears are so specialized for bamboo that they've evolved an extra thumb that's just an elongated wrist bone so that they can grab bamboo. Their gut bacteria is also so efficient at breaking down cellulose that it is being looked at for biofull creation. Dude, that topical shit, Jack. There's a lot of animals in this. You'll be able to have a heyday. All right, so here's the, here's the meta for this initial run. The rainbow is a homing gun. Well, it's a self-aiming gun. So I'll show you what that sort of looks like if I left click. Okay. N very few of those. Maybe one of those was a crit. You could tell by the... So I can shoot a sensor like that with a left click. And now it will automatically home in on that receiver. And it will shoot through walls. So it's a beast, but it, it's very low damage. Um, this has a reload speed buff. Now, pimping out a rainbow is one of my favorite things to do in this game. Because it just becomes insane. And if I find another one, then I'm dual wielding him. This is your... your Number three weapon slot, your side pistol. It's infinite ammo. It levels up as you go, but... All right, so let's... Oh, boy. We're already... We're already getting some good... The gloves are also great for crits, but the rainbow's even better because it's lower damage, so you get more... The idea is here, f for this run, we're saving up as much money as we can. In this first level. So that we can just pimp the bejesus out of our guns. Um, Flavortown. Did I miss it? Oh, when we played Hunt, Flavortown, we'll play Hunt again. We got Nick, th that last stream that we played, uh, I was happy Holy shit! to hear that Nick really liked it. So we'll definitely... I missed. We'll definitely have Nick back. See, I'm just mining crits right now. Because for every crit, which is a yellow damage number, I'm okay. I'm making a copper. And that is I guess you can't see the talent tree right now, but that's a talent that I unlocked. We'll come back to that. You don't have to do it this way, but this is just what I'm doing on this run. Orange, I believe, is uh, a lucky shot. So that's a does even more damage than a crit. Um, I'm going to do this, actually. And these are different abilities you can level just for this run. Once, they, once you die, they all go away. So it's always different. I just picked up one that says, when I kill an enemy or destroy an item for six seconds, I have minus 20% damage taken. So I take less damage. So if, when you're like in the mix, ow, you take less damage. <sighs> Later, Psy. Thank you again, Psy Pasta. Oh, did I miss something? I did... No, I got it. I got it. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Dude, have a good night. These are little side levels that you can find and open called vaults. 
that could be like parkour courses or um, little enemy challenges like all enemies explode once you beat them or something like that. Dude, the rainbow. The prob the rainbow is really fun, but the problem is it gets once the enemies get beefier here real soon, it starts to uh, not kill them fast enough, unless you're buffing it out. Scrolls you collect along the way. So these are your abilities that you're boosting, and scrolls you collect, and they just have random. Think of it like. Uh, Binding of Isaac or whatever. So these are the different power-ups and abilities you're picking up as you go. Minus 20% damage taken, plus 30% damage dealt for 10 seconds whenever you consume 100 ammo. So that's good for this gun because I go through rounds real fast. All right, well, have a good night, Pasta. I really appreciate it, dude. You uh, you helped to make tonight's stream from from what was going to be... Uh, I wasn't even sure about the games we were going to play to something pretty special, so I appreciate it, dude. Can you crit the Beatles? I've wondered that, and I don't think you can. You might be able to get lucky shots on them, but I don't know if a straight lucky shot counts as a crit. Uh, Steve. But I don't know if I've ever seen y a yellow damage number pop up on a beetle. Chest streams? That's something I want to do, Tarex. I'm not good at it, but I enjoy it. I'll play with Hutch. Hutch can be my Nakamura. You can already see the... Oh, that guy intercepted the football. Unfortunate for him. You can already see the rainbow is get, starting to get a little outclassed damage-wise. But that's good because I can s just strip mine crits. And I'm going to need all the cash I can get. to beef up guns. Usually, unless the first gun... I guess I could try and do the beat the game with the first gun I picked up. My own personal challenge right now. I have never done that. Yeah, Hutch is in, Hutch is in, a, in a sad time at the moment. They just added... Oh, come on. I'll take it. I'll take it. Stand back. There we go. They just added a bunch of... They tweaked a bunch of stuff in this game... Oh, dude, that sucks. I feel bad. And they added a bunch of uh, new vaults. I think that was... I didn't see it in the notes. But the new vaults are legit. All right, before I go in there, let me just make sure... Played one game last night and saw saw three new vaults, two new elite enemies that I hadn't seen before. All right, so we're up to twelve hundred copper. 
That's pretty good. These guns, or this glove can be so good, but usually I don't decide on a weapon until around the time, uh, like at, at the first boss. Because the guns you pick up in the beginning are also um, basic. but Yeah, Hutch's older sister just uh, passed um, courtesy of cancer. So I think he's doing some family time. Uh, this might be one of those things where I hope a lot of, like, really good comes of it, actually. I mean, it is, it's a terrible thing, but I'm hoping that Hutch's family, like, really comes together. Not that they are not, but... Okay, a lot of bad guys. All right, I didn't crit him, but give me some good, give me some good, uh, give me some good stuff here. Weapon damage 50% for the last shot in magazine. That's really good for some of the weapons. Plus 20% lucky shot while dual wielding. Explosion damage is great for nades and rockets. <clears throat> Paul, though. Longtime fan. Did I ever link back up with Kate Beckinsale? No, never saw her again. I was like, whatever. Never called her back. <laughs> nope. By the way, doing the... <laughs> her loss. <laughs> doing those... They're not red carpets. I guess maybe you'd call them red carpets. This is really good, but I don't, I'm not counting on... I'll pick it up once I know that there's a weapon I'm going to start using that uses it. So we'll do this for now. Um, should have given her your number. <laughs> yeah, doing those movie promotional things was awful. Nobody wants to be there. Except the people doing the interviews. Like the thirsty ass. Hey. <laughs> Dude, I thought of a really funny question to ask you last night. <laughs> yeah. None of the stars want to be there. I wouldn't. Oh god, I'm stuck. Yeah, those are the worst. Oh, watch the watch the watch the rainbow work on shit when it's on auto aim mode. All right, we've got about six targets here. Like low HP targets. Zap. Later, Pasta. Have a good night. Dude, get head glitched. Um, uh, let's see. We'll start with you. There we go. <laughs> the, 
Ooh, that's a good gun, too. Like a little hand shotgun. Yeah, this game's super fun, pro. All right, so this... Did I do this one? No. All right, so I'm still building up my bank. I'm at 1,800 copper. We're about to see an example of what I'm saving for with this vendor. Okay. This guy sucks. I still am not totally clear on movement rates with every gun. Some guns that look light really seem to slow you down. But you definitely move f at f max speed with the pistol for sure. So, All right, casual gunmanship. T plus 20% lucky shot chance, but minus 20% weapon damage when you don't make a lucky shot. I'll pick it up because it doesn't really matter right now. But that would really help with a gun that had a built-in lucky shot boost. Uh, Profess Professor Mitchington, welcome back. Dr. Pencil, once upon a dime. Um, and Vagetarius, dropping bits. Did I get everybody? Anaclumos, Chaz, for tier two, because I be simping. <laughs> Uh, let me just check some of these off here so I make sure that I don't miss anybody. I'm going to pick that up just in case because right now the damage, the, the, the less damage I do, the better because then I'm getting more crits. Okay, the craftsman. I'm not even sure. Is that a gorilla? Jack. What is this? It looks... Is that a t like a tail? I'm not even sure what kind of... Like a sloth. Maybe a sloth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alec, maybe you're right. Hold on. Kure Tanchi. Welcome. Hopefully I said that right. Can we get some rifle ammo in here? It looks like a sloth. Yeah. Okay. So he's got a hammer. He's resting one of his hind feet on the hammer. That's what that is. Okay. Anyway, these guys, you can beef up your guns. I'm not doing that yet. Um, unless I want to try and beat the game with the rainbow. If that's a sloth, it's going to take all day to upgrade a pangolin. Okay. Giant ground sloth would be Jack's answer. Usually I don't start upgrading anything yet because I'm not planning on keeping any of this because the farther you go, so like the rainbow was the starting gun, laser gloves plus, laser gloves plus one means that it's like a first level weapon. I, I picked it up later in the level so it does more damage. A rainbow could have dropped and it would be a rainbow plus one. Then I could do a wield. I could do wield these right now if I wanted. I'll show you that actually. But I, I don't know if I want to start upgrading these yet. A thin sliced meat emote. I don't get it, Fructose. I'm going the wrong way. Here we go. Do I want the porcupine? 
Easy. Yeah, this is still our money maker right here. Because it's so gentle. This is so good, though. Well, it, yeah, there's nothing special about it. Fuck it. That's the craftsman. You buy other guns, and uh, you can get scrolls sometimes from them. Okay. So now Rainbow is having trouble keeping up. We're in trouble. There we go. A little hectic. Please! Okay. Let's go see what he's got for sale. Okay. <clears throat> um, oh, you're diving into lunch, pro? Okay. That's right. You're about eight or nine hours back. Legendary. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Is the prompt for rezzing your teammate still in Chinese? I don't think, but there's definitely still some uh, translation flubs. So this is, I love this one, even if it is a two-sided blade. So collectively, every enemy I kill, this is really good to get early on too. Any enemy I kill will... Add 1% damage dealt to me, cumulatively. But it will also add 0.2% damage taken. So every five enemies I kill, I'll get a percent. I'll become a percent squishier. But it's that sweet. You do, you do anything for that sweet DPS. And that's an easy... Easy buy. Lucky shot chance plus 50%. This is a burst fire SMG. Let's see what else he's got. Any more scrolls? No. Okay. I don't want any of this. That's right, Flavor Town. Cumulatively, 1% damage dealt goes up. So every enemy I kill. So by the end of. If you get it this early, by the end, you could be dealing quintuple damage. But if you get hit, you're gonna it's gonna hit like a like a truck hit you. Okay, we learned on our stream a while ago that the second chest is at out here. It's not too incredible, but I'll take it. Let's see here. I think we'll just go. When using secondary skill, that's my grenades. There's a 50% chance to double the consumption. And a 50% chance to deal double damage. So now, I might, I, if I throw a grenade, 50% odds that I'll f use two to throw one. That's not so hot. But there's a 50%. Unless I throw two, let me see. Uh, that looked like a double damage. 
Okay, so it just throws one. So I might throw one grenade and burn two, or I might throw a double damage grenade. It's not amazing, but whatever. Um, let's make our dual wielding longer. What up, Chaz? Is Mr. Sark actually streaming right now? Pre-recorded. Oh, you reset it, Tega? You reset um, Legendary? Dude, my greed is too great. I keep it. Dude, I just rack it up. So what I'll do now is try and invest in... Uh, but, but he's right. I will die very quickly later because of that legendary scroll. So what I'll try now is... Oh, this was recently changed. To not totally suck. Weapon damage. Yeah, that's an easy... What I'll do now is try and invest in uh, survivability, if I can. I'll come back and look at the minigun. No, I want crits, 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 crits. There you go. And in a bit, we're going to settle on our, uh... yeah, I'm having a good night, Tell. Why skip the red chest? Oh, did I miss a red chest? I'll go back. We'll go back. This is just a vault, so it'll, it'll like, pop us back out right where we entered. Ooh, look at that. See, now the gentle... The problem is if I get rushed, this can be a real problem. But it's making us bank. No. Yes. Fully recover HP after changing stages. So that's good. That's really good. End of last area, so it's gone now. Oh, I just didn't see it. Or I wasn't paying attention. Weird guy. No reason not to skip it. Lucky Jinx. Welcome back. Thanks for resubbing. It's also nice if you do find a uh, rainbow that has uh, elemental effects. Okay, get out of here. Because on its own, it doesn't have lightning fire. Um, or corrosion. But if you can find, I found one that dealt corrosive damage, and it was beautiful. That archer is... Oh, come on. There we go.
Yeah, you play cat as well. I, I just like... Uh, I actually don't have a preference. We could do a wield for a bit, I guess. Oh, we could do two gun. <laughs> wow, you guys got pissed. Okay, you're a priority. Your tiny little pinhead. Oh dear. Okay. We're sweating to the oldies briefly there. Jesus. Have I tried only default weapon run? Well, that's what I was... Uh, and you mean in just spending money and leveling up Rainbow? Because I'm still on Rainbow, but I've used other guns along the way. That was something I talked about I haven't done yet, but I'd wanted to try. I also usually try... Or these days, I like to try and use guns that you normally wouldn't. Because there's a bunch of guns that are... Okay, so that definitely now. A bunch of guns that are not very efficient. We'll settle on a gun for sure. For this run, we'll settle on a gun uh, when we beat... The first boss here. I'm just kind of putzing around. <laughs> no, Jonah, I won't. Um, I don't know how long I've been in here, Youth. Maybe uh, half hour, forty minutes. Increase weapon damage when hitting the enemy away from you. The further they are, the larger the bonus. Okay, that's good. Any of these have a burning bazooka? That would be kind of funny. I've never played through with just the rocket launcher. Eh. Chance to launch a little missile when shooting. Pfft, that sounds rad. Oh, default weapon, Tega, as in the pistol. No, I haven't tried that. That'd be fun. Well, I mean, it would be challenging. It would be a good challenge. Dude, I kind of want to buy these gloves. Zero, why not? Hmm. Might be time to ditch the rainbow, finally. Postal 2. Uh, Booker, is this game like Risk of Rain where the longer the... E Ooh, sort of, Booker. It's not time spent, it's how far you get. Yeah, yeah, like Youth says. So every um, 
as you progress, the enemies get harder based on you advancing through the stages rather than how long you've spent doing it. Although the rainbow just m prints money. I'm going to, I'm going to, we'll keep the fire glove. And we'll use the rainbow on this guy. Double the elemental effect chance. Oh, that could be really good. Have you beaten the last boss on Elite? Yeah, but it hasn't been anything um, unique. It's been like sort of... Uh, it hasn't been anything like weird. Like one, one was uh, a rainbow run. There was a pimped out dual rainbow run. Then there was the kunai. So there's been a few. But I, the run I had last night, the game crashed. And I really wanted to do that because it, it was the new kunai, like the red kunai. But I think we'll start pimping this out. The gloves are our hitters here. I like to try and see if I can hit him in the face. Shit. <laughs> Favorite game so far this year or recently? Oh shit, I don't know. Now we just print money. For a bit. Until he starts to get a little too rowdy. Or I run out of ammo. As soon as my mark wears out, this will zap all the beetles. Oh, did it? Maybe not. There we go. All right, we're just making bank, and we'll see what weapons he drops. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. All right. And then we'll decide. Okay. He drops like... Jesus. He drops power... Power shit. Um, <clears throat> Let's do this. See, that's already, this weak-ass rainbow is already feeling the effects. Ooh. That seems like a terrible idea. Or does it? I'm going to get real delicate. <laughs> I'm going to be a real snowflake with this <laughs> this shit. All right. So this I don't usually run with. This shoots like this. Um, What's it got? <clears throat> Reload speed is slight boost, lucky shot chance boost, and it usually doesn't deal corrosion damage, but this one does. So it, 12% of the shots that hit will deal decay effects and the corrosion damage. If the decay effect happens, I think the enemy gets a slow. They turn green and there's a slow. So. Um, oh, did I? Let's see. Let me make sure. Uh, Kuratanchi, Lucky Jinx, Hydrate. Welcome, Hydro Lung, Dino Marino. Welcome back, Chaz. 
Well, in all seriousness, thank you, Chaz. Dastardly, dastardly Dino, two Dinos. Uh, thanks for the bits. Um, Tega, we talked about default weapon run. I had not even thought of doing that. But now it's going to have to happen at some point. Jack Grady, giant ground sloths. Oh my god, what a beast. Uh, giant ground sloths weighed between 500 and 2,200 pounds and were found all across the Americas. In addition to tough hide, they have thousands of bone plates called osteoderms, like those of crocodiles and armadillos. That was definitely a giant ground sloth because he had armor plates on his back. Jack, you're right. Daedalus Muse. Um, thanks for the bits. Yeah, dude, you didn't miss shit. I'm trying. I'm at a. Uh, I'm at a. I'm at a crossroads here. This would be use the new weapon that I haven't used much. This is our money maker. This is the like the widely considered to be the best weapon in the game. And this one in particular will be an absolute nightmare. Jesus. So this is damage boosted. It's dealing decay, um, corrosion, which is usual, but it's damage boosted. This won't work too much unless I'm dual wielding something that causes burning, but aiming these simultaneously, this is two different, since this is sort of hit scan and this is not. But here's the, here's the kicker. Projectiles plus two means every time I throw one of these, and one of them, keep in mind one of them is, yeah, is the best gun in the game. This is throwing three at once, plus 0.2. So it throws three at once, and every f five tosses, I'll throw a fourth. I mean, I can't not take that. That's such a sweaty, like, try-hard weapon, but I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've... I've only had a, I think a plus two pris a plus two projectile prism maybe once. It that is not a common uh, inscription they call these, but and here's the other downside. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna frag with this until shit gets real, because the downside to this is I'm only gonna be getting. I'm gonna be one shotting almost everything. So my income will drop dramatically. Um, so for the normal mobs, I will shoot them with the glove or the rainbow. And when shit gets serious, we switch to the... We switch to the, the beast. Now the question is, glove or rainbow? I think maybe glove. The rainbow might just be too delicate at this point. It might just get me in trouble. Actually, no. Because we have our legendary damage. So in the bottom, sort of bottom center left, you see the two icons. One of those is for the sword. It's showing me how many enemies I've killed. So 45, so I have, I'm at a 45% damage boost just based on that. But that also means that I'm at a uh, divided by 5, 4, like 8, 8%. I'm taking 8% more damage courtesy of that approximately. The other icon is this one. Every 100 ammo I use, I get 10 seconds of a little bit of durability and some damage boost. So I'm 76 shots into my 100 and then I'll get then it'll it'll proc 9%. Yeah, there you go. 9 times 5. There you go. 9% exactly. Math. 
a cross boom. I know, but Daedalus, that uh, this knife is too beastly. The only the problem, other problem with this is its ammo consumption is two hundred percent. So I'm gonna need to pick up some stuff to like beef up my ammo because it's using large ammo, and the large ammo, I mean, I have a decent amount here, but. If I can pick up something to help with when I have to start spamming this, that would be nice. Here, we'll throw a few knives out. Oof. It's just going to one-shot everything. I have to be so careful. I'm not even... That was in his ass. It wasn't even a headshot. <laughs> it's already ridiculous. Those guys are... Those guys are toughies. <laughs> Here's the thing that you can't get too confident. This game will su suddenly surprise murder you. I've had plenty of runs. Just vanish. Uh, suddenly. Because you get, maybe you get hung up in a little corner and you're like, oh, suddenly I can't move. Or somebody you didn't see will nuke you. And now I'm, I'm going to be extra, I'm going to be taking a ton of extra damage. I'm just picking up some ammo while I, uh. While I can. Traps will like. Just shit on me. But this is the time. Maybe I'll buff the rainbow up a bit. Just a smidge. Just, 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 just a smidge. Okay. What up Ellie? Sark never takes damage. Dude, don't say... Mokuhe! Why would you even put that out? You just turned me into the Titanic. Traps shitting on him. God damn it. Wait, didn't... Didn't testicle torsion, weren't you gifted a sub torsion? Or is there multiple testicular torsion tags? What up, Salmon? Oh, God. How did I kill a guy clear back here? Oh, the little, the, the little goodies trail down the hill oh got it colfax that was your smurf account son of a bitch so much so much twisting all right let's just be conservative make some money okay okay that's good the little the little put a little hot sauce on the uh Rainbow, that's going to help us. Get a cult scroll. Yes. What do we got? Buns now recover full HP. That's good. No. Nope. Okay, so that scroll means normally the buns. I don't think there's any left back here. Little buns that fall on the ground are the 
heals, they usually re like refill you about a third of the way. So now if I pick up Oh, you dick. Oh, you dick. Now if I pick up buns, it's a full heal. You know what I'm saying? All right. We're about to start funneling our cash into the kunai. And just turning them into the... So the rainbow is now funding the kunai improvement program. Oh, oh got him. Nice. Let's let these guys... Do his little jig. Oh, these guys with their weird tube heads. All right. I don't want to go down there just yet. We're playing this very conservative. Because I want... Uh, I want these knives buffed into oblivion. Do I need ammo? I don't really need any of this. Let's refresh. That's really good. <clears throat> this scroll uh, gives me three dash charges. Ooh, that's... Lucky shot. This is like the... I just unlocked this two days ago. This is like a fire kunai. I could get rid of the rainbow and just give up on the on our weapons program. What's up, John? What was that gun towards the top? Oh, what did I... Shit, I didn't see it. Dayless. Um, son of a bitch. It might have been the dragon thing. It's, it's a similar... Pretty high, large ammo consumption. Oh, yeah, that's true. That would suck. And I have lost on the last boss to having no ammo. Yeah, I think we have to... I think we can't buy that right now. You're right, Badger. Towards the beginning of the level. Um, it might have been a porcupine, one of these. This is like a little pocket shotgun. It's also really good. This shoots grenades that you detonate, so you... Like, left-click, 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 and they tumble out, and then you right-click to blow them up. That's a hard one to, like, really do well with, but that could be a fun challenge. This is a BR, like a Halo BR. I don't remember the one at the beginning of the level. There Was, was there a chain gun? We missed a... I didn't pick up a chain gun earlier. The other one does more damage to burning mobs. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so that's so Steve, that's the the catch. So this So here's the synergy that that could be happening. Steve is pointing out that this kunai does a bunch of extra damage against enemies that are burning and this kunai causes the burning. Like, these two together would be so good. The only problem is is I'm shooting between four and five large ammo every... Uh, yeah, I mean, this causes burning also, but we're saying that the synergy with the kunai I picked up is especially nasty. My green ones don't cause burning, I don't think. This is just... Corrosion and decay. Did 
Dude, I kind of want to just get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. The weapons program is over. We're being reckless. This is not... So this will be our go-to because it does not have X. Oh, it has some slight. Dude, I'm going to be using so much ammo. Oh, and this one does ban bonus damage against enemies in decay. We have to do it. We have to do it. This one's buffing. They're buff. <sighs> oh, two prongs like a tuning fork. This one, maybe. Oh, the other tuning fork. That is, I know which one, Daedalus. That is, I forget what it's called. It's a grenade launcher. It shoots like an energy grenade. We're going to use this one because it uses less ammo. But we're going to be making a lot less money. Um, and then when shit gets real... Well, I mean, we could switch to the other one. And when shit gets really, really real, then we do a wield. <laughs> shit will get real. So you can see... Oh, my God. God, it's so burly. So his health bar, you see the yellow. Who is... Oh, it's fire. So his yellow health bar is... <sighs> okay, so I didn't tell you guys about this kunai yet let me hold on let me kill this guy it it sticks and then explodes so it sticks in them and then explodes i don't know if this is a new weapon maybe some of you guys who have played the game for a while um or if i unlocked it just because i hit like a high level so i'm in level 114 or 15 at this point and I, and also you get you unlock scrolls and shit. It's new, okay. Um, when you accomplish like kill fifty snipers with fire, so you're um I don't know what's been added. So this thing sticks in and then briefly and then explodes. My God. It's just, I just fucking. Ow. Oh, I gotta be careful. I'm taking nearly. What? 15. I'm taking a lot of extra damage. <laughs> Shoot, dude, that dude. That poor guy wasn't even aiming at him. Um, all right, let's go. So, what I was saying earlier is the color of their health bar. Blue is shields, yellow is armor, and red is just their life. And the difference, the different damages affect, they have an affinity. So, like, blue shield, if there's a blue shield bar, that'll go down extra quickly to, to lightning or, sh or uh, electricity. The yellow shield bar... 
I mean, technically, the corrosion on this would be more effective against, but we're dealing so much damage, it didn't really matter. And the red bar is um, weak against fire, just their life. But there's so many scrolls that I, I that can change how you, those scrolls that let you, um, all crits deal damage directly to the life bar. They bypass the armor and the shields. That would be insane. There's scrolls that say the first shot in the magazine deal 50% extra damage. But since these in the bottom left, you can see each one is its own full mag. So that just means every shot of these. And then there's ones that say the last shot in the magazine deal extra damage. And you could just get both of those. Um, while dual wielding, max HP would be nice. I think we're going with some... We're going to go with... I'm going to lean... I think we're good on damage. I'm going to lean into not dying here. One of each knife into the big guys. Well, we'll... Do, I mean... Here, we'll, we'll try that. I got to be real conservative with my uh, large ammo. That's the blue ammo boxes. Jesus, so that guy's got extra shields. He's just... This guy's got high defense. So that's why he's classed as a defensive critter. Oh my god. Collision on these is a little. Stand still. Ow. I mean, this is just the fire one. This isn't even the big gun. Or the, like, our proto gun. Okay, better watch out. I wonder, what I was wondering, and I haven't been able to test it yet, is if stuff that boosts my explosive damage affects the secondary explosion that these cause. What is up there? A little too, a little too crowded out there still. <laughs> Another kunai. What the fuck? All right, next wave. Okay, so there's our little, our toughy. Oh, I got hung up on a rock. That's what I'm talking about. You got to watch out for that shit. 
So he's got a yellow bar. He's sensitive to corrosion. I mean, and his weak spot is in his back. But we could just for fun, let's just... No, oh, he's already almost dead. Jesus. I don't even need to look at guns. That looks, that's all blue. Yeah, well, I'm also trying to like, sometimes, sometimes uh, like, I don't know. Sometimes I charge in, sometimes I don't. Let's see what we got. Um... <clears throat> See, like, Doggo can buff his explosion damage. I'm going to get that because I don't grenade as often. And since, just in case, in case uh, it does, I'll get this. Let's go see what these kunai look like. F Jesus, this is just... Oh, this gives me back ammo, but it doesn't have the... I can't... I can't take... Dude, we got a good... We got a good thing going here. That's a beastly weapon right there, too, though. Um, <clears throat> let's bump this, since we're using it a bunch. Okay. Later, Xenon. Have a good night. Let's do the vault. Okay, this is a new vault. So these combat vaults like this usually end up with an elite appearing uh, that you then have to defeat to unlock the chest. Ow. That sniper is going to suck. All right, so I'm watching for an icon on the ground to mark where the elite will spawn. Or maybe it's just there. It's going to be there. Okay. What do we got? Oh, shit. I've never even seen that guy. Let's just... Oh, my God. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Dude, we do... T it's too... It's too much. We do too much damage. <laughs> he didn't even have a chance. <laughs> All right. Well, whatever that was, looked like an elite corrosion spraying flamethrower guy. Oh, ammo capacity. That's almost... Oh my god. This shit is all epic. Two hundred percent crits? <laughs> now, see, the greed is taking me from the logical solution to insane crits or uh, this is better if you have a ton of cash but what this does you lose a bunch of life it doubles your copper amount which at the moment would put me up to 1800 or so and then I earn extra copper that's better if you have like a couple G's in the bank this is actually really good for beefing. And this would be good because I would earn more money to compensate for me not earning much with the kunai. 
But these are way more enticing. I love getting this one. I'll give 75% of my HP in a second. There's buns right there. I could I would go full heal. But I don't think the initial doubling of my copper amount is 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 enticing enough with only 900 holding on to it. So now it's this. Logic or greedy DPS. G's in the bank. <laughs> Uh, salmon clap. Yeah, I've played. I played this a little bit since we recorded. Uh, thanks for the dono, Sarinth and uh, Averio. I believe. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. What was the final boss like? I mean. If it goes like that, the final boss has forced stages of battle, so. I'm already set for the boss of this because I got some movement, which is nice. Safety. What do I want? I'm torn. Just send damage into the absolute stratosphere. No, I did. Did I take the life leech one? Oh, I did, huh? So I'm healing. Yeah, sanguine relic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. This is hard to turn down. DPS. <laughs> this is reckless. I also have to be careful. Somebody is commenting on my caution. I have to be very careful right now because of my build. I'm getting hit really hard. <laughs> uh, I do insane damage, but um, I'm getting hit a lot harder than normal with all the shit. Let's go buff our guns again. Yeah, the ammo. Glass cannon, absolutely. Um, I'm going to buff... Oh, I can't buff at him. I already used all my... He, you can only do... Or currently, I can only do three improvements at one craftsman. I forgot. So we got to go to the next craft. Oh, look at this. Pretty maids all in a row. away from that okay I... <laughs> crit crits are good crits are good up our ammos. Cut. Pretty good. What is it? Are you guys doing the math? 69%? Is that my damage taken? Well, I mean, we already did, earlier we did 25k damage with one of these on probably a lucky shot, but all right, keep keep track. G's in the bank. You thought I said Jews in the bank? How <laughs> dayless? What 
possible. That's on you. That's on you. You weirdo. I have 900 Jews in the bank is a sentence that, <laughs> that you thought. <laughs> okay. Look at that shit. Dude, just the nades are popping thanks to that damn that explosive buff we got. Let's go down here. Get me out of this. There's a 15k. Okay. Jesus. What's up there? Is that another kunai? Oh shit. Like, these are encounters that I, I have not had. This is a new, uh, if not a new map segment, then a new enemy rush that I haven't seen before. I know I'm in a challenge event, but I don't remember this. Maybe it's just, maybe I'm just dumb. Oh, no, I do remember this, but I've come down from that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lightning enthusiast. Sure. Why not? That's not... That scroll's not going to help me because I'm not dealing any lightning damage. This is a really good gun. I call it the Deagle. This has a good, uh, this is a good build, too. I mean, we're not going to take it because we're already just yoked. But my favorite stat on this gun is projectile speed. Plus 100%. So that, because the bullet is so slow on it by default. But. This is also a good gun. This is a little flamethrower, and usually flamethrowers suck. Jeez, man, there's just good shit dropping this game. I'm good, though. Dude, I'm having... Str it's streamer loot right now. Is this what it feels like? Okay, so we'll have an elite lizard, usually is what spawns. There he is. Let's kill the sniper. And these adds. And then let's just... Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I've never killed that guy that fast. Okay. Oh, I love that one. That's good. And that's survivability. Minus 30% damage taken when shield is not zero. Plus 30% damage taken when shield is zero. So this gives me some durability as long as I have shield, extra durability. My only problem with that is I'm going to be stacking up so much. I don't know if the 30% is even going to matter after a while. Then there's this. That's going to lead to some really big numbers. This is the this is a smart play. This is like a last stand. 
But... Really big numbers. Brian, thanks for resubbing. I don't even care about the minus 50%. Dude, we hit those shots. <laughs> Can't die if you kill everything. Big stacks! That's what I'm talking about! You always get shield destroyed in a shot. That's true. That's true. Yeah, this one's off the table. Any other game, if I wasn't so, so fragile, the, this is awesome. But I'm going full fragile. Uh, Brian, uh, Sark, how you doing? I don't know if you've answered this already, but will you make a P.O. box someday? I don't know, Brian. That's my answer. I'm not sure. I had one for a long time in L.A. You have the damage, get the life. Parabullet. I don't have the damage. I only have, like, this much damage. I want all the damage. Oh, a pole. Clearly, there is damage he doesn't have. Pole. Let's do a pole. Hold on. Let me open my dashboard. That's right. We can do this. Manage poll? Who, who is a better person? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Responses. Okay, tell me if that worked. What is this stream me? <laughs> yeah, you should see a poll at the top of your chat tab. All right, it's got about, we got about half the time left. Here, we'll run around for a bit. Ponder life. Not shoot any of our precious large ammo. Almost done. I'm not looking until it's done. Ooh, that's good, too. Dude, I'm, this is not how runs go all the time. You can get to this point in the game and have, like, a gun that you're not happy with, and, the, and it just, shit is dropping. All right, let's check. Iron Gaming Arts, resubbing, clearly voting for damage. Let me check these off. Okay, let's see what the results are. 80% damage. You guys are, you guys are monsters. Beautiful, beautiful monsters. Now, just for the record, I may not survive this. <laughs> don't, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> I could catch one stray shot and it will send me into the afterlife. That's a lot of damage. Hey! Hey, Vinny! Now, that's what I call a lot of damage, Vinny! <laughs> Perfect. Perfect Italian. Fluent, even. Easy. Everyone settle down. Oh, I got a new 
I got a new scroll called Airbag. Uh, a couple days ago. I need airbag. It looked like shit, and then it was just god tier. Oh, oh, oh! We're 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 on. Let's go. I think we just face that guy. We face that guy? Okay. Airbag constantly... Is airbag a new scroll? I hadn't seen it. Or did I just unlock it because I got high enough? It um, constantly drains your HP down to one. Scary. But when your shields break... Oh, I had a combination that really made it good. When your shields break, it fills your health um, to full. And then I had something else. I had some combo that was just... I hope I get something like that. I need something like... Uh, that can help me deal with taking 7 trillion damage in one sniper shot. All right, we're going to buff you. And then that's all we have money for right now. Airbag was in. Okay, okay. I hadn't seen it until just this week. I think there's con there's situations where it might be not so good. But whatever shit I had set up, it was fucking working. Dude, the splash damage on that. <laughs> Dude, that was 19 in two hits. But with one attack. So purple is a lucky shot. Jesus. Good gravy. Oh, we got a few of these. Let's back up. Pfft. I didn't even see this dude die. Oh, dude, I'm so glad that this bizarre loadout happened on stream. This is the kind of thing where I'm playing by my like by myself, and I'm like, shit, I wish I was streaming. <laughs> you can unlock anything if you're high enough. Um, hold on. <laughs> Daedalus, you called it, dude. Uh, night's going well, Immaculate Tex. Welcome back. Just chilling, playing games, you know. Big Daddy, uh, welcome. Thanks for the prime. And then uh, Sam Clap, thank you. Trying to keep half an eye out for... That's pretty good. A little extra ammo. Yeah, let's do that. For those dual wielding bonanzas we go on. Just looking, f make sure I didn't miss any vaults. I think we can. We've got another weapon improvement over here we could do. Let's do. Let's do this guy again since we're leaning on him.
200%. Yeah, we're at double damage. Awesome sauce. Or I guess triple damage, right? A 200% increase. All right. Let's see how this boss fares. Um, I don't have much money, but we'll see what he's got for us for free. I want to try a bow run sometime, but it's just outclassed by the kunai. So usually you'll be leveling up the bow and then you'll just find a kunai on the ground that is better. All right, they've got nothing for us. And this guy, I don't have money for him. Okay. All right, so this boss is vulnerable to corrosion. So we're going to start with this. And then we'll uh, we'll just do a wield and we'll just, this will be like, this will be like a speed mode. We'll see. I have triple dash to keep me out of his laser. Oh my god. He did <laughs> He didn't even get to his second phase. <laughs> There's still damage that we don't have though. Guys. Um, let's see. I don't care about this, because I don't have a magazine. While dual wielding extra HP. Or damage. And if we level this... Dude. More damage. More. Okay, Heavy Shield. This is also a new one I just recently unlocked and haven't used yet. Minus 10% movement speed. That's not good. But I have triple dash. If I play smart, then having a blanket 50% chance to avoid normal damage is pretty good. So I think I'm going to get this. If I didn't have triple dash, I don't think I would pick this up right now. But that sort of counters the general, in a pinch, I can, I can drop three, three boosts. So that will have my damage taken that's not elemental based, which is pretty good. I need that. I'm doing so much. This is my game to lose. Um, I just gotta be. I just gotta be careful. What do we got? Looks like you're going to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. That's right, Hollywood. And also, uh, Pirate Steve, welcome back. There's a seventeen nine lucky shot. Let's see what we do on this guy. He's got shields. So, sh good God. That was an 11 and a 13. One attack for 24K. And two. Okay. This is also our freshly beefed up. Fire Kunai. Oh, he's defensive, so he's got a lot of... There we go. There we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Carefully. 
Carefully. We're reviving. We're back. I can't do that again, though. I'm taking so much damage. <laughs> We're back. Woo! We got this. We got this. I'm not even worried. Dude, this is this is going to be a stop and pop shooter. I can't afford anything from him. Everything from him costs 800. What I'm saying, Bryn, yes, is we need more damage. Penguin, got to level 3 in this game so far, shit's hard as hell. Yeah, mileage varies. It's this. That's why this game is fun, though. You can like buy into you 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 opt into different experiences based on you know just like um like other roguelites. It's like the same game over and over, but it's a little different every time. I've never dealt this much like burst damage before. I don't even recognize this approach, but I need cover. And I would like to have that immediately. Let's take care of you guys. Let's take care of this Kappa. I also don't have... Those monsters are actually named Kappas. I don't have great... Oh, my grenades are pretty good. So, like, in this, they do, like, little lanterns. Armies of... It's like the beetle. It's like the level three beetle. The nades are going to be my good anti-beetle measure. Okay, this rock is better cover than the trees were. You just got to spawn in the next batch. Jesus! It's okay. Everything's okay. Okay, octopus still up there. Let him just chill out for a second. Did he die? No. Okay, there we go. We bring out, like, the elephant gun. All right, one of these guys. Okay, elephant gun. And defensive. Oh, he just shrugs it off. Look at that. All right, not too much ammo. Oh God, challenge event. Continue to be injured. Oh shit, now I'm, be I'm being constantly hurt. Oh God. All right, well now we gotta go balls in. Because now uh, I'm taking constant damage. <laughs> and, and the only way to get HP back is to kill. <laughs> Shit! Okay. And it will continue to be that way. Until I kill everyone. And I don't know how many waves I have to survive, but this shit sucks. 
All right, so far we're not in too much ammo trouble. Okay, we got it. We got it. Challenge over. We're good. We're good. Okay, everybody. Dude, the fucking sweat. Reset cooldown of all skills. Okay, I mean, that's fine just to have. <clears throat> Next, JP. We got a vault here, a chest up there. Hold on. Let's just, just, I just. All right. Suddenly I'm f fucking nervous. Let's get our, our ammos. Dude, it's scary when it makes you just charge in. Uh, okay. Hold up. Um, you're reminding me of Kylo Ren screaming more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That's right. Uh, thanks, Salmon. Christian, or Christian, thanks for subbing. Penguin Dark, resubbing. Uh, I got, I saw your uh, comment earlier. Yep. It, as you can see, it gets bananas. I have no more oh shit buttons to push. Next, JP, thank you for this donation. Love everything you make. Keep up whatever it is that you got going on and give Nanners a big kiss for me. I will do that, and I will also do that. Thanks, JP. I want every knife we have to fire on that man. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Recover 1% max HP and 10 ammo of equipped weapon. Whenever you kill an enemy affected by elemental effect, that's tons for us. That's ammo and life. That's not a rare scroll, but extremely good for us. Um, do I need health at all? No. Let's refresh. See if he... What's this? Dude, I don't like this one. This one, you get ammo back after killing an enemy, but you it slowly drains ammo if you don't kill an enemy for four seconds. This, if you're in a real bind, can be good, but you have to constantly be dropping it. Like right now, while I'm perusing goods, I would be losing ammo. So whenever you shop, you got to drop it. Or whenever you're not... Slang. Let's go get this chest. Then we'll check the... I'm nervous about the vaults. The vaults can, like, really kill you. There, There is... Monks that you can't really avoid because they teleport... To... Ooh, this is good. They teleport to your location and do an AoE. This is really good. We need... To, if we can buff this up, Yeah, I like close call on that. Battle tested, close call is always in effect, and battle tested is only when we're dual wielding, so that was my train of thought there. Okay, all right, here we go. This could be... All right, we gotta watch. I gotta watch for monks that have the big baskets on their head. I'm not okay. So far, so far we're okay. It's just. Kill these guys. Watch for flankers. Okay, we'll kill the shark. Oof, there he goes. Nervous about someone. Okay, there's there's our guy. There's our guy. Let's. Oh 
Okay, there we go. Dude, bosses I'm not worried about. It's all <laughs> it's all the little guys. Okay. <laughs> This is good. This is a good one. So this one, you'll see a little icon down in the lo the lower left next to those other two, and it'll just charge up and it flips back and forth. So for 12 seconds, I'm doing plus 50 damage, and then it flips, and I'm instead of that, I'm 20% damage resistant, and then it flips. So it constantly goes back and forth. You don't really do anything with it. It just sits down there in the bottom left center you see it ticking down and then it'll <clears throat> while dual wielding weapon damage is plus 100 percent but ammo consumption is doubled but it's damage. That's right. <clears throat> so far, I haven't had to do a wield for very long, and everything just goes to sleep. This is normally really good. This is also normally really good. But... And if that comes up again... You can see the little diamonds under here are the tiers. So this one we've um, we've buffed up. That's really good for us, actually. So that one we just got. Um, wait, where is it? Here. So if we get it, if it comes up again, we'll get level two weapon damage one twenty five. And if we get level three, it's 125 with no additional ammo consumption. See, it's an in this is an investment in our future. Chat, are we ever going to play clunky puzzle games again? I mean, I didn't know that this run would turn into such a bizarre... DPS factory. Check the kunai. Oh, you want... Oh, let's just see what we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's really good, but it's not worth losing the two levels of damage that we've pumped into it. The synergy with the... Decay and burning. This is really good, though. But we got a little, we got, we got something special going on. All right, what do we got? Plus 3% weapon damage uh, for every copper you own. We're spending our money. Whenever ammo is picked up, it is added to the magazine instead. That's pretty good. Um, it doesn't. That's better for a gun that you reload. That you need to reload. I wonder if that even procs, since I'm not reloading the kunai. Because the good thing about that is picking up the. Ammo gives you a movement speed, but I don't even know if that triggers with the kunai. Fill the magazine instantly after using dash. That, I'm sure, is useless. So, we got to go with damage. Oh, it does. Yeah, you can only pick one of the three. Well, if this does, Maris is saying it does. I don't care about the ammo going to the magazine, obviously, but if me picking up large ammo off the ground triggers the movement speed, that's awesome. 
You just went on a run with it. I'm going to go with it because this damage, since we're spending our money as we get it, I'll never get a big damage boost from this. Um, so I think we'll do this. In fact, let's just see if we can tell a difference. Okay, we threw a few. Oh, yeah, I'm noticeably faster. Oh, we made the right... Maris, you're right. Yeah, that procs without needing to reload. Um, it's good to know. Oh, I guess it says... I guess that makes sense. I just didn't didn't read it right. It does both those effects. Effect one, it adds the, the ammo to your magazine instead of your reserves. And effect two, picking up the ammo increases your movement speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, we did we did a good thing. For how long did it say? Oh, until your next reload. Wait a minute. Is that a perma twenty five? That can't be. I feel like I'm hauling ass. Because uh, I don't think I reload these. I'm definitely moving faster than a 10% movement restriction that I took earlier. Dude, if that's true, that's just another scroll. Oh, you... You one-shot reload. Oh, I can see the buff below. It just stays. Look. Because you... That's not a reload, I don't think. Oh, no. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a second countdown. Got it, got it, got it. I got it, chat. I got it. So you can see the quiver down below. And when I pick up large ammo, I'll go faster until I shoot. Got it. I read you. I read you. Still good. That was still the that was the scroll. Let's remember we got buns up. Oh no, we're leaving. We're out. Here's that prong tuning fork weapon, Daedalus, you were asking about earlier. It's not a very good gun. This is a pretty good version of it but and the gemini inscription so you can see that here so these are called inscriptions they're just like abilities of the guns the gemini inscriptions happen on the later guns and it's random and it only takes effect when both your weapons have the same gemini inscription so but they're usually pretty rad um, and you can, at the Craftsman, if you have, say, this gun and another gun that you wanted to try and get the Gemini inscriptions to sync up, reforging your Gemini inscription is an extra option that the Craftsman can do, but it costs 300 <clears throat> Are you starting Nanner... Legends. All right. Do we have any cover? We do. Okay. Oh, I see a monk back there. Luckily, it's a monk that launches... Um, Lanterns my way. And not a teleporting. Nihilist monk, I think it's called. Okay, dude. I'm so... Oh, that's just background sound effects. Okay. 
Little jumpy. Move forward carefully. Watch for the next spawn. Is there one? Dude, I just throw knives into the explosion until nothing's moving anymore. That's my current strat. All right, hold on. Before we talk to this craftsman, I just like to look and see what's dropping. But let's go see if there's any vaults. Radio wave, what's up? Welcome to the party. Hopping in. I love to see it. Anything under here? No. Like this, this is the kind of thing I wish would go away. Like add a, uh, what do you call it, a brush? So that step doesn't, that kind of step doesn't get you stuck. I've died on that on that kind of shit so many times. <laughs> the DPS is insane. I know, and we're just using and we're saving the real burst damage because of the our ammo situation. Don't worry, we we have plenty of opportunities for me to fuck this up coming up. Dad spray. Welcome. How you doing? Yeah, I mean, Radio Wave, I didn't start uh, streaming really regularly until a few months ago, so. Kawhi. In Greek mythos, there was a man named Skyron who liked to rob people. Skiron. His method of doing this was that he would call to travelers on the road asking for help washing his feet. When they would offer it, okay, well, first off, that, that shit ain't working anymore. When they would offer to help, he would kick them in the face, pushing them over a cliff. At the base of the cliff would be a giant tortoise, which would eat the remains or the still living if the fall did not kill them. Help me, please. My, f my feet need a washing. <laughs> Talk about shit that just doesn't... All right, let's bump you up a little. I haven't washed my feet more kunai. Okay, hold on. No, that's not as burly as ours. This, here's the thing. I'm afraid I'm going to get attacked. Hold on. I don't think they'll spawn. This orange. So these are like, think like, wow, like rarity colors. Green is a normal. Blue is better. Orange is or gold or whatever. This is just too nasty. Throwing three, project, three knives at once. This is also awesome. All blue. Any other game, this would be like, I'm switching to this and I'm going to win the game. You're telling me if Belle Delphine did that, she wouldn't get at least 500 kills. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's okay. Good point, Daedalus. All right. Any monks? I see a monk. It's not a teleporting monk. There we go. It's a lantern monk. All right, stay, f stay back. Be smart. Okay, there we 
There we go. All right. Conserve ammo. Ooh, you almost got me. Okay, two sharks, a lantern monk. That's okay. It's okay. We'll bounce. No! Just like that! Gunfire reborn giveth, and gunfire reborn taketh away. <laughs> yeah. I should have. I should have dodged. <laughs> Dude, this game's so rad. What should we get? We'll get this one. Oh, that I didn't even. Okay, hold on. That's the talent tree. Hold on. So this is the talent tree. In between games, you level up your character, so you come back and you do more damage, and you make more money, and you earn more of the crystals, which is what you spend in here. I also spent like a hundred respawning that time when I got annihilated, but usually I don't have a problem. The sharks bring it, reel you in, maybe wallop you, and you just dash out. But I was taking a little too much damage. Either way, that was super fun. Um, I love it. I've used up my good drops for the next two years. I know. I just need to hang it up. But I can't. I can't hang it up. All right, but I think that's good for Gunfire Reborn. How long have I been streaming? Six and a half. We can go for a little bit more, but let's look. We're rotating games, dude. Musical games. Dude. <laughs> also, if I'd taken any of those last stand or any of that shit we would have survived but dude you gotta have the damage i mean what is life without damage have i thought about setting up a vod channel i got not greedy enough <laughs> uh, yeah good night avirio All sham, no meow. What's up? I, you know why I like streaming Truck Stop? Because I get to play games. That's why. <laughs> I mean, I play some games offline, uh, you know, with Atlas, with my son. But uh, I just didn't play. I just wasn't playing that many games. Twitch does VODs, uh, Maniac, but they go away after like a month or two months or something. Earth Defense Force Mojo. That's something I've wanted to. Here, let's do this. Wanted to play. I watched Kraken and company play that. I mean, Bat Sloth, this is the time I usually stream. I mean, historically, I've been trying to stream on Fridays, and it's usually in the late afternoon my time. So, yeah. So, that would be, I mean, I'm in Central, but let's put it in Pacific. Why not? It's usually about, like, between 1 and 3 Pacific. I mean, I feel like we just do whiplash, like tonal whiplash. And we get back into this shit that we were trying and see if it's. I mean, if you think this is a lot of reading, wait till you see the next game. Vanilla Gorillas. 
back in the trench. Three months. Thanks, gorillas. No, I think we're going to go a little bit longer, uh, Spong. I think we're going to go back and explore this Hitchcock game that we were playing. Um, and actually determine if it's even a game that's Pacific time, correct time. Um, even it, like just get a feel for the game. Let's see. I got to do stream info through here. Oh, that time it took. All right. Oh, God damn it. Hold up. Hold up. Um, Dan Telfer was just talking you up on his stream. Oh, was he streaming? Dan was streaming? He's a gem. I talk him up right back. Sorry, computer. Sorry for the resolution nightmare. What was Dan, uh, oh, you were over there too, Spong, and Anubis. What was Dan playing? Oh, that's right. He's doing stand-up on Twitch. I saw his tweet. Dude, that's a challenge. Holy shit. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> I wish I could get this to play with audio. But every time I do, all the resolutions reset. And there's no options. Okay, cards, bookmarks, none. What is this? This is... This just looks busted. Okay. Here I was, 37 years old. Sound in wind and limb with enough money to have a good time yawning my head off all day. Wait, what's the sound? Oh, like hotel... Okay, I got to clockwise the mouse. I'm going to risk breaking this. Turn it up a bit. Yeah, Soul Slayer. I, it would be so hard doing stand-up 
with no audience. All right, we'll just do this. <laughs> yeah, it's a... It streams all over the place. What up, Jolly? Good, man. What's up, Brian? 8390? Welcome. All right, so for those of you who missed us attempting to start this earlier, I believe a bunch of people gifted subs just to avoid having to see this. <laughs> but this is called the 39 Steps. This is part of... Oh, I forgot to do one other thing. Steam library A to Z is what we're doing. Oh, that never changed either. Well, fuck it. Good, then we're back. Playing through my Steam library. It's like 1,200 games deep. Oh my god, does that really... Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop that. Internet tab, thanks for gifting the sub to Infant Coma. Dude, I can't alt tab out of this game. Until maybe I get some bookmarks or whatever placed. Anyway, we're playing through my Steam library A to Z. I'm gonna be on for probably another hour, hour and a half. This is the next game though. It's called 39 Steps. I have no idea, it looks like some type of virtual novel slash point and click adventure based on an old old British espionage novel why it's in my library I don't know to advance the text I have to swirl the mouse in clockwise circles there we go I returned from the city on that May afternoon pretty well disgusted with life I'd been there th I'd been three months in the old country and was fed up with it. If you can run games in Windows, there's a good program called Borderless Window that will full screen them and make it a window easy to tab out of. I'll look into it. I'm dubious about it being able to handle some of the shit we run, but I'm not against checking it out. Hold on, who's... Who's texting? Okay. I'd been three months in the old country and was fed up with it. We got to get through this stuff and see if we can get a new uh, checkpoint for us. Richard Hanney, you have got into the wrong ditch, my friend, and you had better climb out. Right, well, what's Richard gotten himself into this time? Fam's good, Jolly. I'm probably keeping him awake right now by shouting. Um, Anik Lumos gifting a sub to Sikuno. Tab, thank you. Uh, Brian, welcome. Salmon. Yeah, we got a lot more emotes. No stuff emote, though. Although there's Sark Hush, so there's a bald old man. That'll kind of work. Um, Jellyman. What do you think Hitchcock would say about today's movies? I mean, he wouldn't be as kind as Scorsese was, I don't think. Borderless gaming. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
A lot of imperialist ladies ask me to tea to meet schoolmasters from New Zealand and editors from Vancouver. That was the most dismal business of all. I don't know why that's the voice I picked for this. I had no real pal to go to about with, to go about with, which probably explains things. Plenty of people invited me to their houses, but they didn't seem much interested in me. Oh. I had counted on stopping it. Let's just stop that. I had counted on stopping in London. <laughs> yeah, there's stuff. <clears throat> uh, counted on stopping in London for the rest of my days, but from the first, I was disappointed with it. I was the best bored man in England. Wow, this guy's just a sour, sour puss. Okay, we're going through it. My father had brought me from Scotland to South Africa at the age of six. I'd never been home since. I grew up in the Cape Colony, which was then under British rule. Okay. I spent much of my time by the Zambezi where I would fish. There are several hundred, of, hundred species in its waters, including the infamous tigerfish and Zambezi shark. The wide open spaces of the Veld also interested me greatly and the various methods of survival in such an uncompromising landscape. I had earned my pile. Not one of the big ones, but good enough for me. I'd put in three years prospecting for copper in German Dameraland and spoke the German tongue pretty fluently. I went on to become a mining engineer in Kimberley, where I was instru instrumental to the formation of De Beers Consolidated Mines. The diamond mines were a rough business. <laughs> no pun intended. With countless good men lost in horrific accidents. Okay. I served the British forces during the Matabele conflict and was decorated for my role. I served two years with the Imperial Light Horse and was an intelligence officer at Delagoa Bay in the Second Boer, Boer War. Is that how you pronounce it? I lost many friends during those wars. I got to be careful. The icon does not stop. It stops for you guys, but the cursor keeps going, and I do not want to click off the screen. My final years in Africa were in the municipality of Bulawayo, where I had fought during the Matabele War. I resided once again with my father, who had taken ill. After he died, I decided to leave the Cape and head back to the old country. Okay, so we've been in, we've been doing our business in Africa. We're back in civilization. Finger quote. Here was I, 37 years old, sound in wind and limb. That's either a typo or it's an old phrase that I'm going to use from now on. Could be mind and limb. With enough money to have a good time yawning my head off all day. Hold on, let's look it up. I could see it being... No, that's the phrase. It's not a typo. Sound in wind and limb. It means you're, you have a healthy respiratory system. <laughs> Dude, that's some old-fashioned shit. All right, hold on. Let me... Wait, drink up? Oh, a hydro... I'll have... Well, let's go. I had a long drink, see? And I read the evening papers. And a video game. Sark has hardcore porn in the background while I play this. Oh, we're smoking. A pipe, looks like. From all accounts, he seemed the one big... Um, hold on, go back. Let's go anti-clockwise. Had a long drink and read the evening papers. Yes, okay. Okay, now we're clockwise. <laughs> you don't have pneumonia, Dragon Rider? Dude, you're sound of wind. Uh, the papers were full of the, the row in the Near East, and there was an article about Karolides, the Greek premier. Okay. Clockwise. 
Anytime. Okay. From all accounts, he seemed the one big man in the show, and he played a straight game too, which is more than could be said for most of them. Okay. What? Sark, I've said this before, but I don't remember if you ever read it, but I remember first seeing you on Medal of Honor Warfighter Controller, the game show. Game, like, yeah, that's old school, Jellyman. Um, with Syndicate, also kind of wondering if you still keep in touch with him. I haven't talked to him in a while, probably a couple years, but we kept somewhat in touch. I didn't talk to him much through the casino thing, and obviously since all the like gaming me too shit was going down but is this a game or an autobiography i don't know well that's what we're trying to find out okay now it says click i clicked last time dude sometimes sometimes it clicks sometimes it doesn't If this is just mainly me reading an abridgment of the novel, then we'll move on and I'll do this on my own. Someone had loaded the cylinder player. I felt a deep nostalgia for my homeland of Scotland as Annie Laurie filled the room. But I want to see what some of the mechanics are like as we get into the game. I like that they added a little uh, motion, the dust motes, the fire, this light that shifts. I mean, if you're going to have a mostly static frame, is there really a big enough market for people to produce these games? Dude, adventure games are not... Adventure games have been declared dead for like the last 20 years. And have been thriving. About six o'clock, I went home. I think the overhead on making these is low, Brower. So, oh, do, am I doing something? No, okay. So you can make it for cheap, and even though your audience is small, I mean, I don't think there's any, like, adventure gaming magnates, but... My flat was the first floor in a new block behind Langham Palace. Parsdies! Gifting five subs. What are you saying, Parsdies? <laughs> Thank you, and welcome uh, to On Smoke, Odin, Chuck Norris Mode, Fist in Your Face, and Toxic Avenger. That sounds like a crew that would love this game. <laughs> This sounds like something that would be right up Chuck Norris mode's <laughs> alley. I'm kidding, Chuck. I'm making assumptions based on your cool name and the pace of this game. But There was no restaurant or anything of that sort. Let me clockwise. Each floor... Oh, see, it suddenly... Okay, let's examine. Okay, this one's glowing, right? That's... Dear Richard, how's my handwriting? Luckily, I can do this. I do hope Paddock is looking after you well and that your luck on the horses is lasting. Here's a tale for you. Last month in the Kalahari, I found myself in a tight spot. After two days on the plane, I lost my way, could not find the river. I was forced to go without water for three days five without a mor morsel of food save for a few worms okay yes yes <laughs> Steven Larson holy shit names I can't alt tab and like VIP you Steve and or Larson welcome Steven Larson Raiders names from the past
popping in here. Only, that's right, old school machinima viewers will recognize two of, in my opinion, two of the funniest um, on-camera talent at Machinima. Welcome. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you had a good stream. Hold on. I got to make a note to myself here. Dude, this game is so finicky. I cannot click off the screen. Game. Yeah, Jelly Man, they, they are super funny. Now I'm trying to keep an eye on chat, just in case. <clears throat> uh, point and rotate experience. That's right. Okay, so we're reading a level from some old pal who, oh, he had a hard time in Africa, and oh, I, I couldn't eat or drink for a few days. Uh, I bought a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Those are awesome, by the way. Um, if Jack's still in here, Matt Ziggs. The profits from s selling my Rhodesian Ridgeback. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. I'm sorry you had to get rid of uh, get rid of it. <laughs> um, aren't they used to hunt lions? If I remember right, rat badass dogs. I've named the animal Shaka after the old Zulu chief. Of course you did. How quaint. And we'll take him to the Congo with me where I go for the elephants. Okay, so this dude. Okay. I plan to leave next week if I can get my new rifle finished in time. Yours, Peter Pinar. Dude, Raiders. By the way, I, should, I didn't even explain what we're doing. Raiders from Steven Larson. In a nutshell, I'm playing through. I'm Mr. Sark. I'm playing through my Steam library alphabetically. It's about 1,200 games deep. We've sunk many hours into this, and we're not even to the letter A yet. We're still at games that start with numbers. They skip alphabetically the word the. So this is the 39 steps. I have no idea what it is. Some type of adventure or visual, no like graphical novel, based on an old turn-of-the-century British spy novel. It just was next. That's all it is. Uh, we don't. I'm not going to beat it necessarily. Maybe I will if it starts blowing my mind. Okay, so our buddy Peter wrote us a letter. We can really get in there and just... Now we can go upstairs. Uh, let's see. What did I hear? I heard something. Oh, Matt Zig, subbing in. Welcome, Matt. Dude, now I'm not sorry you sold your Rhodesian Ridgeback. Welcome to the party. What if you sold sold a Rhodesian Ridgeback for ten dollars? Good God! Yeah, I've never seen the movie, the Hitchcock movie, Jimmy. We looked it up earlier. It was his eleventh movie with sound, probably his twentieth movie after a bunch of silent films, and it was based on this book, like fifteen years prior. Draw the symbols as they appear. Okay. Nah. Nah. What up, Captain Clark? Welcome back. Dude, I'm on OnlyFans all the time, dude. Nah. Do I click and drag? Oh, oh, there's my cursor. 
I don't have a visible cursor. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, okay. Nyeh. Nyeh. Nyeh, nyeh. Okay. Paddock? Game That's play. me home. I'll be heading out for dinner. Gameplay. I hate servants on the premises, so I had a fellow to look after me who came in by the day. He arrived before 8 o'clock every morning and used to depart at 7, for I never dined at home. Oh, no. Let me tell you something about adventure game design that I like. So I make fun of that, but that's kind of the gameplay that you you want really easy shit in your adventure game. I Ross Scott summed this up in one of his videos really nicely. He was talking about fuck was that game it was a french french adventure game that suddenly became an fps and he's like P people who want to play a sedate point and click can hit like reflex tests and action scenes and that that can just stop them and like you th like those people what do you mean, those people? That evening, I dined at the Cafe, Ro Cafe Royale, then headed elsewhere for entertainment. You gotta be careful genre bending in an adventure game. Because the audiences are not necessarily uh, overlapping. Like, look at me. I'm an elderly man. I can't handle fast paced shit. I want slow. An evening's entertainment. Okay. Let's go to the music halls. The countless music halls of London were one way of passing the evening away. Farces of all styles played a conspicuous part in this week's bill. On this particular evening, I wandered to Leicester Square, I think I said that right, where the more resplendent theater of varieties could be found. A show at the Alhambra caught my eye, though one could never be quite sure of the fact until it had been seen. One Hearts, One Heart, that game we played a while ago, it committed that adventure game crime. Where suddenly it was that, like, if you were like a... Like, if, I don't know, my mom wouldn't be playing One Heart, but, like, I know my mom likes playing adventure games. If she was playing that, she would have got to that button-clicking Simon Says Reflex thing, and she couldn't have continued. Clearly, I lost that amazing run. I know, Daedalus. <laughs> Amos. Gifting five subs to HKD... American Prime, BT Stirits 96, BTS Tirits. Let me know how to say that name. No Mercy for the Loot Player, and Empty Archangel 23. Um, and then I missed Cryptic Freak, Cryptic Freak dropping bits. Thank you, sir. Um, thank you. Having a good day. And only the details. Also dropping some bits. Uh, I know you're a fan of DJs. Uh, can I send you my SoundCloud? Yeah. Tweet it to me. That's probably the best way. Only the details. I will check it out. Um, and Jericho TV. I remember your name earlier, Jericho. Uh, gifting a sub to Fofferton. Cthulhu Esquire, Ormus, Kaigo's Moo, and Pac-Man. Oh, God, what's happening? Kev... <laughs> Kev K. Gifting five subs. Gucci Gooch Gabe. Camboy. Wasted Hippie. Stormwolf. 
and carry control. Welcome to the parties. Kev K. I love that you're still in here chilling. Anik Lumos, Hexed Goth, Jericho, thanks for the bits. Oh, God. Choo-choo, that's what you're doing? That's what you're after? The goddamn hype train? <laughs> Kawhi, uh... No, I don't mind. Is Kawhi wrong? I like Kawhi. The most hated modern artist is Anish Kapoor. I'll have to look at that. Thanks for the bits. Matt Ziggs, I wish you were unboxing a spider trapped in plastic. How dare, how dare you wish such a thing? <laughs> Thanks for the bits. Daedalus, thank you for the bits. Cryptic Freak, gifting a sub to Undying Winter, Yoder Pet, and Howie. Um, thank you, Cryptic Freak. And thank you all for the bits. Oh, we got Salmon Clap coming in. Hold on. Waiting. Kev K. Who's that? I've never seen it before. Stick around, Salmon. I know you're kidding, but. Sack Scout. Given gift and subs to Kalitha. Dennis Levin. Badass Cadaver. The B Major 88. And uh, me, KC3. I think. Or is that like a Messerschmitt? Oh, shit. Here we go. If that's not a Messer... Like, when I see ME in abbreviation, I think Messerschmitt. But I like airplanes, so that's why sax. No offense. <laughs> Uh, are you a big fan of the Luftwaffe, Sax? Nice. Captain Clark. Dude, I guess. You're, gonna, you're bleeding something. There's hemorrhaging happening somewhere. Jay, Jay Liv, thank you for the bits. Pervert Monster. Um, thanks, dude. Thank you again. Um, you guys, a uh, bunch of you have just been uh, brought into the party via per pervert monster. Edmund, frickin' Dante's. Emphasis on the authors, the, is the authors. Uh, D. Huios, I'm Ramsey, it's the bra moment. Tudor, Batier Caltier. I'm gonna just put that on there. Bacon Man. Big Coffin Hunters, Majestic Viper, and Egyptian Joe. And then we've got Naz resubbing. Welcome back, Naz. Fam's resubbing. We got Kev K sniping a gifted sub to Emulation. And then Mars Gravel. 24. Gifting three subs. Lucky Fest, Indo Green, and The Real Architect. Welcome. And thank you, Mars. Thank you, everyone, for chilling today. And evening's entertainment is right. Oh, it's right. You just thought it. Oh, yeah. No, I don't mind Kawhi. Not at all. Welcome, Batsloth. Kev K just welcomed, just gave you a big embrace. It was a silly show. I did not stay long. This character is so... Uh, this character reminds me of Paul Rudd in Wet Hot American Summer. Ugh. Everything's just... Oh, this, everything just fucking sucks. This, su this show sucks. London sucks. Africa sucked. I miss Scotland. Oh, my friend wrote me a letter. Sounds like everything sucks for him, too. Oh, on the way home, I gave half a crown to a beggar because I saw him yawn. He was a fellow sufferer. Oh, a fellow sufferer. God. 
what I wouldn't give to be homeless. <clears throat> I made a vow. I would give the old country another day to fit me into something. One more day. England. What does the hype train do? No idea, Moochville. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, you don't know me. Thanks for the bits. Them are Sark. Who are them? Hello. Well, hello. Oh, you just need to do a little, a little with your wrist. I was like spinning it and waiting for it to go. And then as soon as I would stop, it would go through all the text. If nothing happened, I would take the next boat for the Cape. Africa sucks. But I'm going back there if England keeps sucking harder. I think something's about to happen, though. Okay, can I add a bookmark? Oh no, I don't need a bookmark because we got this. Okay. We're just getting a feel for this. See see what it's like, chat. I wanna see I want I want we need something to I wanna see what's going on in this story. Then we can move on. Okay. We're in. All right, that's glowing. I'm going to try clicking it. No, okay. Just wanted to try. Hey, can I speak to you? May I come in for a minute? I recognized him as the occupant of a flat on the top floor with whom I had passed the time of day on the stairs. He was slim with a short brown beard and small gimlety blue eyes. I was in love. Wait, no. His hand was pawing at my arm. I loved, I loved the feel of his skin. No, wait. I motioned him in. Oh. The doorknob. Eh? 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 What a weird little thing to add. <laughs> No sooner was he over the threshold than he made a dash for my back room where I used to smoke and write my letters. Okay, shit's happening. Yeah. Then he bolted back. Is the door locked? Okay, it is now. Batsloth. Thanks for gifting the sub to Daddy Jacob. Welcome, Daddy Jacob. And M Mitch Beamer. Mock Beamer. To phonetically tell me how to say that. Can't believe you're streaming this late. Hold on, I'm watching chat. I don't want to miss this. Mitch? Mock? Much? Mitch. Got it. Okay. Mitch. Stick with Mitch. Welcome back, Mitch. Uh, he filled himself a stiff whiskey and soda. This is like a uh, this is like we were talking about earlier. Like you just open the door and like the party's coming in. Dude, he's charged in. He's run into our back room. Now he's pouring himself a drink. Okay. I sat down in an armchair and lit my pipe. Super famous pro, thanks for the dono. Let's give Steven Larson a G. Also, Sark, how are you, you old son of a gun? <laughs> Good. Nice, like, nice gaming day. I was pretty certain that I had to deal with a madman. All right, but England? You have my attention. I'm very sorry. It's a mighty liberty, but you look like the kind of man who would understand. 
I've had you in my mind all this week when things got troublesome. Say, will you do me a good turn? I'll listen to you. That's all I'll promise. Pardon. I'm a bit rattled tonight. You see, I happen at this moment to be dead. What does it feel like? A smile flickered over his drawn face. I'm not mad. Yet. Say, sir, I've been watching you, and I reckon you're a cool customer. I reckon, too, you're an honest man and what not afraid of playing a bold hand. I'm gonna confide in you. I need help worse than any man ever needed it. I want to know if I can count you in. This is a weird, uh, like, slightly southern accent this neighbor's got. Well, let me think about that. Get um, on with your yarn and I'll tell you. you. Better not suck like everything else. Open RP time. It is good voice acting, though, Pars. You're right. Oh, here we go. The queerest rigmarole. Franklin P. Scudder was an American from Kentucky. After college being pretty well off, he started off to see the world. Toot toot. Dun da dun da. Dun da da. Dun da dun da. Toot toot. Dun da 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 da. Okay. He wrote a bit and acted as a war correspondent for a Chicago paper. Tensions in the Near East, Balkan Affairs Test Europe. The Balkan region continues to suck. He had played about with politics at first for interest and then because he couldn't help himself. Then he made his discovery. Dun da dun da, dun da da. Beep beep. Have a good night, zombie toxic. Dun da dun da, dun da da. Beep beep. I'm doing the score too. Away behind all the governments and the armies, there was a big subterranean movement going on, engineered by some very dangerous people. A Bilderberger! I'm with it! Oh, there's the two. There's the little toot toot right there. The sort of educated anarchists that make revolutions. God damn it. We have to own everything. And behind them were the financiers who were paying, play, playing for money. Not paying for money. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Checkmate. They wanted Russia and Germany at loggerheads. The Bill Bilderberger. Everything would be in the melting pot. The anarch anarchists looked to see a new... Well, the capitalists would make fortunes by buying up wreckage. And Scudder had himself convinced that Jewish men were behind it all. Those goddamn Jewish men. 1,200, Pedro. On the 15th day of June, Constantine Karolides is coming to this city. The British Foreign Office has taken to having international tea parties, and the biggest of them is due on that date. Now, Carolides has reckoned the principal guest, and if my friends have their way, he will never return to his admiring countrymen. <laughs> Taladran, welcome back uh, for two months. Thank you. It sounds like cinnamon toast, Ken. <laughs> Do it, Daedalus. Clip it. Oh, shit. I nearly clicked off screen. Well, that's simple enough, anyhow. You can warn him and keep him at home. <laughs> and play their game. If he does not come, they win. For he's the only man that can straighten out the tangle. And if his government are warned, he won't come. For he does not know how big the stakes will be on June the 15th. I was beginning to get interested in the beggar. What about the British government? They're not going to let their guests be murdered. Tip them the wink, and they'll take extra precautions. No good. Tip them the wink. They might stuff your city with plainclothes detectives and double the police, and Constantine would still be a doomed man. 
He'll be murdered by an Austrian. And there'll be plenty of evidence to show the connivance of the big folk in Vienna and Berlin. It will all be an infernal lie, of course, but the case will look black enough to the world. But it's not going to come off if there's a certain man alive right here in London on the 15th day of June. And that man is going to be your servant, Franklin P. Scudder. Okay. I read ya. Did I voice act in this one too? Yogi? The is that Yogi or is the is that whole first half Yogith? Yogith looks Lovecraftian. Or is it just Yogi? And then whatever. I did not voice act in this. But as you can tell, I easily could have. Just Yogi, okay. Master of accents, slip in and out, like putting on a shirt. For example, I was getting to like this little chap. His jaw had shut like a rat trap, and there was a fire, the fire of, and there was the fire of battle in his gimlety eyes. Perfect West London. Right there. Slightly north. What is this game? Super famous pro. 39, the 39 steps. Starting to look like a little bit of a mystery. Where did you find out this story? I completed my evidence 10 days ago in Paris. I can't tell you the details now, for it's something of a history. But when I was quite sure in my own mind, I judged it my business to disappear and I reached this city by a mighty queer circuit. Till yesterday I thought I had muddied my trail some and was feeling pretty happy. Then... Oh, there you go. Bottoms up. The recollection, the recollection seemed to upset him and he gulped down some more whiskey. What's up, Black Jesus? And it does sound like a Sherlock Holmes plot, Salmon Clap. Uh... Which is in the library. Game of Shadows. Then I saw a man standing in the street outside. This is the. This, uh, this is what's kicking off the plot I here. So let's just see. In my room all day, and only slip out after dark for an hour or two. I watched him for a bit from my window. So homeboy's gonna want. I recognized him. He came in and spoke to the to porter. Poses our s servant. When I came back from my walk last Sounds night, like I found a card in my letterbox. It bore the name of the man I want least to meet on God's earth. Papa John. I think that the look in my companion's eyes, the sheer naked scare on his face, completed my conviction of his honesty. All right, we believe him. Black Jesus swinging in here with a sub. <laughs> Black Jesus gifting Sark subs. I ain't even surprised. All right, we've got welcoming to the party. We've got Onaga, You Don't Know Me, uh, Phuket, Bob Noodles, and Spanky the Unicorn. Thank you, Black Jesus. It's breaking the immersion. <laughs> I know, Batslav. <laughs> hey, this is the this is the this is the world that we're in right now. Cordite Nightlight gifting ten subs. Welcome, and thank you, Cordite Nightlight. Welcome, uh, Lurkules. Sea Fire, uh, Mallet, we're just going to go with Mallet, Tannis, uh, Caligan, The Minga, Save Point, Katum, Calazone, and Minda. Welcome. And Cordite Light, that's a huge, uh, and Black Jesus, you guys. Very generous. Thank you. Welcome to our insane party right now as we sit in front of the fireplace. What did you do next? And listen I realized to I was Scudders. Modeled as sure as a pickled herring. <laughs> and that there was only one way out. I had to die. If my pursuers knew I was dead, they would go to sleep again. How did you manage it? Yes. 
He sounds so emotional. All right, step house scudder died. I told the man who valets me that I was feeling pretty bad and got myself up to look like death. That wasn't difficult. I'm no slouch at disguises. Okay. Step two. Then I got a corpse. You can always get a body in London if you know where to go for it. I fetched it back in a trunk on the top of a four-wheeler. I had to be assisted upstairs to my room. Where to find a corpse? Graveyard. Highgate Cemetery. Look at these plans. And also, your pin is leaking. Scudder. I had to pile up evidence for the inquest, so I went to bed, got my man to mix me a sleeping draft, and then I told him to clear out. He wanted to fetch me a doctor, but I swore some and said I couldn't abide leeches. Okay. What up, Siflinks? When I was left alone, I started to fake up that corpse. Fake it up, okay. Okay, he was my size. I judged he had perished from too much alcohol, so I put some spirits about the place. The jaw was the weak point in the likeness, so I blew it away with a revolver. I dare say there will be somebody to swear having heard a shot. There are no neighbors on my floor, and I guessed I could risk it. Grizzly. I left the body in bed dressed up in my pajamas with a revolver lying on the bedclothes and a considerable mess around. Then I got into a suit of clothes I had kept waiting for emergencies. I didn't dare shave for fear of leaving tracks. And besides, it wasn't any kind of use my trying, it wasn't any kind of use my trying to get into the streets. Okay. I had had you in my I mind saw all day, oh, wait, hold on. and there seemed nothing to do but to make an appeal to you. I watched from my window till I saw you come home, and then slipped down the stair to meet you. Why did he pick us? Uh, I saw a Porsche with a license plate paladin and assumed it was D&D, &D, and I thought, you fucking nerd. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. A draught. A draught. Oh, oh, is it? Hold on. The noun draft is pronounced exactly like draft and shares most of the same meanings. A cold burst of wind or a serving of a drink. Harry Potter can suck my chode. <laughs> he sat blinking like an owl, fluttering with nerves and desperately determined. There, sir. I guess you know about as much as me of this business. Oh, we get to do... Okay. I was now pretty well convinced that he was going straight with me. It was the wildest sort of narrative, but I had heard in my time many steep tales which had turned out to be true. And if he had wanted to get a location in my flat and then cut my throat, he would have pitched a milder yarn. Okay. They're going steady now. <laughs> Hand me your key and I'll take a look at the corpse. Excuse my caution, but I'm bound to verify a bit if I can. Yep. I reckon you'd ask for that. But I haven't got it. It's on my chain on the dressing table. I had to leave it behind, for I couldn't leave any clues to breed suspicions. The gentry Jake. who are after me are pretty bright-eyed citizens. I like my whiskey like I like my doorknobs. You'll have to take me on trust for the night, and tomorrow you'll get the proof of the corpse business right enough. 
I thought for an instant or two. Right. I'll trust you for the night. I'll lock you into this room and keep the key. Just one word, Mr. Scudder. I believe you're straight, but if so be you are not, I should warn you that I'm a handy man with a gun. I haven't the privilege of your name, sir, but let me tell you that you're a true gentleman. Now, I'll thank you to lend me a razor. I took him into my bedroom and turned him loose. Yeehaw. God, bedpans. Fucking bedpans are such a nasty thing. idea. In half an hour's time, a figure came out that I scarcely recognized. My hat, Mr. Scudder. Okay, a new man. Similarities. Only his gimlety. That's a word I don't know. What is this? It's come up three times now. I just keep think I just keep thinking of the dwarf and the hobbit. Gimlety. Piercing or penetrating or like a gimlet. which is a small tool. Oh, I get it now. A small tool with a screw point, grooved shank, and cross handle for boring holes. I get it. Okay. Uh, differences. He was the very model, even to the brown complexion, of some British officer who had had a long spell in India. He was shaved clean, his hair was parted in the middle, and he had cut his eyebrows. Okay. Not Mr. Scudder. Captain Theopolis Digby of the 40th Gurkhas. Presently home on leave. I'll thank you to remember that, sir. I made him up in a bed. I made him up a bed in the smoking room and sought my own couch, more cheerful than I had been for the past month. That's good. Things are looking up for this fella. Um, I'm trying to see real quick. Did it say why he picked us? Or is it just random? Is that, is it like North by Northwest? Just random. It's just random. Okay. Dude, I'm learning so many new words. What does buttonhole mean? Attract the attention of and detain someone in conversation, typically against their will. So, in the synopsis, it says that we were buttonholed by this guy. So it's just random. He's in a pinch. Uh... It can be pronounced both, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> also, a lot of those words have like an American and an English pronunciation. So, I mean, J.K. Rowling might have been using something that she was familiar with. Things did happen occasionally, even in this godforgotten metropolis. So that's the setup. We're going to play through this chapter. Because I think right now 
This is just pretty much me reading uh, an abridged version of the story. But if this is something that seems interesting to you, this is something that I would probably do in the evenings to wind down. Stop that row, Paddock. There's a friend of mine, Captain... Captain... Uh, he's dossing down in there. Get breakfast for two, and then come and speak to me. Okay, so Paddock is our actual servant. He had about as much gift of the gab as a hippopotamus, and was not a great hand at valeting, valeting. Valeting. <clears throat> Um, but I knew I could count on his loyalty. Is this like the World War I version of Inglorious Bastards? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen the movie, Sam, and I'm not sure. Maybe. And I ha obviously haven't read the book, and I didn't read anything uh, yet about beyond up to where we're at to see if I'd missed anything. Paddock was a fellow I had done a good turn to out on the Selic Salakwi uh, in Africa, I guess. And I had inspanned him as my servant as soon as I got to England. All right, I'm going to assume that means employed. Just calm your shit, Paddock. Dude, if this is if that's the case, I mean, I don't mind like if a big story kicks off off of something random, like North by Northwest or whatever. But this guy got so lucky picking the most bored rich dude imaginable. I told Paddock a fine story about how my friend was a great swell with his nerves pretty bad from overwork, who wanted absolute rest and stillness. Nobody had got to know he was here, or he would be besieged by communications from the India office, and the Prime Minister and his cure would be ruined. Shamrock Man, thank you. Gifting subs to Deity, I'm going to just say Deity, or maybe Delete, could be Delete, Vulcan's Fury, Cynical Grass, Dead Kel the, fr Dead Kelf, the f Dead Kelf Frozen, or Dead Kel the Frozen. Um, and then broken. This shit has a movie as the real issue. A Hitchcock movie. I could see this being a good movie. I'm still questioning whether or not it makes a good game. I am bound to say Scudder played up splendidly when he came to breakfast. He fixed Paddock with his eyeglass, just like a British officer, and asked him about the Boer War and slung out at me a lot of stuff about imaginary pals. Paddock couldn't learn to call me sir, but he sirred Scudder as if his life depended on it. Chat was freaked out that you haven't seen Inglorious Bastards. I think you would absolutely love that movie. What do you mean I haven't seen Inglorious Bastards? I just said I didn't know if this was the... Inglorious Bastards of World War One. Right? Chat? I've seen Inglorious Bastards. I love it. I left him with the newspaper and a box of cigars and headed out to Alexandra Park Racecourse. Sark, you're scaring me. I think you said you didn't. No, I meant I hadn't seen this movie. I don't know if this is the 
Inglorious Bas Bastards of World War One because I haven't seen this film, The Thirty Nine Steps, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, and I haven't read the book that it was based on either. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I wasn't clear. But I do need to see Inglorious Bastards. I'm watching that right after we finish this. I mean, I'm a huge Tarantino fan. I don't know how I missed it. Good night, Mitch. I left. Oh, here we go. We're clicking. We're going to the race course. When I got back, the lift man. That's another thing. We don't have any more. I mean, I've, s I've seen them in New York. I've ridden up elevators with lift men. When I got back, the lift man had an important face. Do you guys have elevator? Uh... Nasty business here this morning, sir. It's so Getting good. number 15, being in short itself. Are I you... just took him to the mortuary. The police are up there now. You guys, <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> All right, let's go up. I ascended to number 15 and found a couple of bobbies and an inspector busy making an examination. Daedalus gifting a sub to JC. Thank you, welcome. Found a couple of bobbies and an inspector busy making an examination. I asked a few idiotic questions, and they soon kicked me out. I attended the inquest the next day. Who played this character... Because this is pre sort of this would be such a good Cary Grant role but this is super early for him Robert Donnett I don't recognize him he must have been in an inglorious bastards I have to check it out. Uh, the jury founded a case of suicide while of unsound mind. Um, I gave Scudder a full account of the affair, and it interested him greatly. He said he wished he could have attended, for he reckoned it would be about as spicy as to read one's own obituary notice. Yes, yes. Scudder was very peaceful the first two days he stayed with me. He read and smoked a bit and made a heap of jottings in a notebook, and every night we had a game of chess at which he beat me hollow. Another old-timey phrase I'm going to be adopting. But on the third day, I could see he was beginning to get restless. Yeah, Scudder's in uh, self-quarantine now. He fixed up a list of days and started making remarks against them. Okay, what does that mean? He started listening for little noises and was always asking me if Paddock could be trusted. Once or twice, he got very peevish and apologized for it. I didn't blame him. I made every allowance, for he had taken on a fairly stiff job. Mike, no problem. That's a bingo. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Salmon. I like bingo, though. Uh, welcome back, Mike. Three months. Um, yeah, he's getting a little peevish. He's a day racist. <laughs> and then one night, he was very solemn. Say, Hanny. What is it? Uh, Judge, I should let you a bit deeper into this business. I should hate to go out without leaving somebody else to put up a fight. He began to tell me in detail what I had only heard from him vaguely. 
I did not give him very close attention, because who cares? The fact is, I was more interested in his own adventures than in his high politics. <laughs> okay. The plot thickens. Okay. He talked about a, a black stone and a man that lisped in his speech, and he described very particularly... Isn't that funny that lisp is such a hard... Lisped. It's like a word that resembles what it's talking about. And he described very particularly somebody that he never referred to without a shudder. An old man who could hood his eyes like a hawk. Okay, that's weird. I reckoned that Carolides and his affairs were not my business, so a lot that Scudder said slipped clean out of my memory. He was very clear that the danger to Carolides would not begin till he had got to London and, he, and would come from the very highest quarters where there would be no thought of suspicion. Julia Chekinyi? He mentioned the name of a woman, Julia Chekinyi, as having something to do with the danger. She would be the decoy, I gathered, to get Karolides out of the care of his guards. Which Hitchcock movie is it where they're... He remained solemn for the rest of the evening and spoke a good deal about death. The man who knew too much. Were the assassinations going to happen at the clash of the cymbals by the orchestra? God, that movie's good. That was like 20 years after this. He remains... Uh, we got this, yes. I reckon it's like going to sleep when you're pretty well tired out. I'm waking to find a summer day with the scent of hay coming in at the window. I used to thank God for such mornings way back in the bluegrass country. And I guess I'll thank him when I wake up on the other side of Jordan. Okay. I'm watching this movie. I can see this being a good movie. So far, I don't see this being... This just makes me want to watch the movie. So much more information can be conveyed so quickly. The next day, and this doesn't, if I had seen the movie, I wouldn't, f doing this, I wouldn't make me feel like I was exploring the space of that movie that I adore so. The next day, he was much more cheerful and read the life of Stonewall Jackson much of the time while the rest of London celebrated Empire Day. I went out to dinner with a mining engineer who I'm had to whom I had to see on business and came back in time for our game of chess before turning in. What up, Campa? Okay. I don't even mind, I don't mind visual novels, and this isn't like making me, oh, that's glowing, okay. But I'm a stickler for purpose in production, and to me this is not adding anything, as far as I can tell. Mr. Hene, I left Captain Digby reading in the smoking room with a fresh box of cigars. He was not interested in the Empire Day celebrations, but allowed me leave to go to see them. I have acquired fresh eggs and bacon for tomorrow's breakfast. Paddock. God. Done. God. Done. Dun. Yeah, I think I'm good. I understand it. We're checking it off the list, chat. 
You know what this game has made me do? It's made me want to watch the movie. And maybe the movie will make me want to read the book. Killer music, though. Okay. So let's take a look, hold on, at what's next. <laughs> you guys are gonna... <laughs> uh, you guys are gonna love this. Let's take a look at what's next. We're wrapping up the stream. That was 39 steps. Basically, a visual, like a graph, or a, what do they call that? Visual novel, an adaptation. But I don't, I don't see the purpose of it being a game necessarily. So here's what's next on our A to Z. Jesus. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 3D You can see the list right here 3D text adventure We'll look at that in just a sec Followed by 7 Days to Die That's a game everyone's familiar with, right? Then we played seventh guest, so we're done. And that's it. Then we're into A's. And Abzu actually looks really good. So here, let's take a look. We've watched this trailer before already, but what this is is somebody took the old Infocom I don't know I don't know if this is Zork or if it's Adventure, but the old old text adventure and they made it into a 3D modeled map. I thought that idea was interesting. The execution also looks disastrous, so immediately I was West of house. You are standing in an open field west of a white house. With a boarded front door, there is a small mailbox here. <laughs> Look at this. No, Sh Sham hasn't even played this. Jesus, this is awful. And that's not my cursor on the screen. That cursor is baked into the trailer, and then that's the end of the trailer. <laughs> so. You wanted AAA games? You got it. You got it. Look at how many screens he provide. Oh no, I thought there was way more than that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're following that up. Seven days to die. We know. We know what this game's all about.
What up, Rapple Yard? X Y Z Z Y. That's right. What up, Daedalus and Mini Squish? Welcome. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. JV streaming. Uh, welcome, uh, Kyrathos. Welcome back. <laughs> you just say bingo, <laughs> Salmon. <you're st> <laughs> God damn it. Mitch, welcome back. And then we've got, who did I miss? Kawhi, Frankenstein, widely known to have gay subtext. A man creating a perfect man. Sounds a little gay to me. Frankenstein in the beginning is outside society and only when he sees his monster, who is never described as ugly, but it's his homosexuality in human form. He turns away from it and despises it. For it shows his homosexuality, and he joins society to go against his sexuality. Come on! Get the torches! There's homosexuality in that castle, and we're gonna burn it out. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'd never heard that, Kawhi. I've also never seen this. Have you ever had a nightmare that never ended? most recent video on the Seven Days to Die uh, Steam page. Pretty sick. I've never played this game, so... And I've never seen one of the... <laughs> All right. I've never seen one of the end of week rushes either. Even though I've watched Tomato play and Italics play. Has Joe been in here? Um, which Joe, Krusty? That was a good trailer. Oh, God damn it. That joke. Dude, if this game can can crush it on the the charts, Halo Inf there's hope for Halo Infinite. Probably spend a few streams on this one. Maybe we'll get some old pros in here. Help, help guide us. But why though? Dude, this game looks like a game I could sink some serious time into. This shit, especially.
Jeremy from Achievement Hunter. Yeah, he's awesome. Does he play this? I don't know, maybe I don't want an old pro. Maybe I want someone who hasn't played it. Uh, who also hasn't played it. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe both. It's so janky looking, but it has so many fun mechanics, and it had such a burst of popularity in the last few months. I wonder who kicked that off. I mean, it's, it's five years old. No. Seven, nearly set, six and a half, nearly seven years old, still in early access. This is, you love to see this though. 91,000 reviews ringing it in at very positive. I'm excited for that one. All right, so that's that. And then we've got Abzu. We'll watch, this will be our last one. This will be the. Th our first A game. Uh, here we go. This is from... I saw this game a while ago. August 16th. I feel like... Oh, no, I'm thinking of a different game. I'm thinking of a different swimming game. But this one looks cool. Let's check it. Our first A game. It's just access. It's not early access anymore. <laughs> oh, play with Nick? That's a good idea. Um. PewDiePie! Felix getting his quote IGN Dude, all the heavy hitters That's how I swim, by the way Just like that Kotaku? Are you kidding me? Gam Ezra Dar. Never heard of him. I'm getting, uh, I haven't, uh, I played Rust when it came out, Rapple. But not since. Um, and that was it. We're calling, I'm calling it a, uh, an evening raffle. So not too much longer. I think I'm caught up. Mini Squish. Yes. Kawaii. JV. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good. Ace of Spades is soon. Yep. That's right. Spleen. You saw that? I could skip this one because I have played it, but we'll, we'll like hop in for a round or two. That game's fun. Um, I've never seen it in my life. Salmon clap. I think you have at the buzzer. Kev K from downtown. Gifting subs. To Saucy Lou. CJ. Sniper. Giddy Thought. And Krusty Bum Crack. Yeah, we should raid. Stand by. Let's raid.
Dude, should we do just a random? Should we just end this today on something really random? Hmm. No, there's more people on than I thought. We can raid a pal. We're going to raid my good pal, Ricky. Ricky for the win. Host of Internet Today. Another Machinima expat who's landed on their feet. They're playing Fall Guys. Which is a new uh, like game show game that's coming out. I don't have a key yet, but he said he was going to get me one. And we might play some with Ricky. But we're going to go give Ricky. Again, very small streamer. He's a good pal of mine. Um, I've known him for years and years and years. So let's go give him some Sark Magic in chat. And all of you guys, thank you so much. Ready to sleep stream. <laughs> Maybe another night. Not while we've got so many pals on. Let's go say hi. We're going to go raid uh, Ricky. And um, Sark Magic and Chat. Again, thank you everyone for the donations, the gifted subs. I missed a few. Captain Clark, thank you for the bits. Uh, right back at you. Rapple Yard, um, thank you for the bits. And Daedalus, thank you for the bits. That's the sleep stream. Okay. And Kawhi, where do I send you the link for my art? Um, send it to Sark on Twitter. And I'll check it out. I, on Twitter, I'm just at Sark. Oh, and you also have... Oh, and you've... They tended to put. Oh, we got more. We got more lore here. They tended to put homosexuality in horror books due to repression and demonization at that time. Gay people tended to be a monster, even if it's not truly bad. It's there was also some demon, demonization. <laughs> Dude, I read that there was also some demonetization in movies, <laughs> which caused neg negative side effects like murders. Dude, we we live in a crazy. This is a crazy, bizarre year, but. You don't have to go too far back in history for shit to be fucking lame. Way worse even than we've got it now. But then shit changes so fast, it makes you wonder, what if we are the way worse for the future? And if that's the case... That could be pretty sick. I mean, pretty cool. Let's not use the word sick to describe humanity's future. You know what I mean. Anyway, let's end on that deep note. We're raiding Ricky. Sark Magic and Chat, thank you again, everybody. Have a good night. We'll see you soon. We're talk I'm talking with APL tentatively about streaming again on Sunday. Not tomorrow, but the next day. I guess it is Saturday now. I don't even know what day it is where you're at, but in two days. Skipping a day, streaming again with APL. All right. We're starting this raid. Ten, seven, six, five. You guys rock. I'll see you Sunday, maybe, if not for sure Friday. Ah, we're raiding. <laughs>